Well, 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 I'm very excited for this show. You seem it. I No, I am. I am. I really am. I'm a little heated. Why? I just did the uh, This Week at the Cellar, and this is a tip for anybody who's going to do a show with other comics on it. Keep your trap shut. What do you mean? Don't tell them what you're going to do. Don't ask for advice. Don't fucking go up to them before the show. You're talking I, about the TV show taping the This Week at the Cellar. The or the other comics? The other comics. Right. Just do, just always do what you're going to do and don't ask anybody. Just do it and live and die with what you choose. I, cause I'm, I'm ready to go. I went up on Colin's show cause it's topical. So you kind of, I had, you know, I kind of try to write something. Yeah. Maybe to, you don't want to force your shit in too much. Maybe you come up with something. So I had this thing about Equinox and I said, uh, fuck yeah. Equinox. But I go, Equinox, I thought that was a place where you went to learn math. And then I go, first of all, I've been banning all these places for 20 years. You think I was like, you think I, I want to look like this? Because I, I'm doing this for you people, for the country, for America, for the... Re and then I was going to say all this shit. So I, it bombed, right? No. I oh. walk up to Judy Gold and I was like, hey, is, I'm going to do this up front. Let me, she goes, that's my joke. <gasps> and I was like, what? She goes, I have the same joke. I'm like, fuck me. Uh. She goes, and, and it's like, she's like, she didn't give a fuck though. This is the, I have this I thing you. in me. Where I'm like, I, all right. She's like, I'm doing it. No, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. She, you know, she's like, you make more money than me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? See, I would be vaguely flattered and then I'd get distracted. <laughs> so now I'm like ready to, you know, you know that thing you kind of, you think of something. It might only work that one night. But because you're in that little whatever mind space, you can go up and say whatever the fuck you want. It will work maybe that one time. Yeah. And I was, and it totally twisted me. I'm like, all right, I can't say. I gotta think of something. I gotta have anything else. And it's like ten seconds. I got fucker. And I'm like, you fucking coward. Should have just shut your fat face. And and either it lived or died. Should have did it anyway. I know I should have did it. Who cares? I know. <laughs> should have watched her with her mouth agape. You <laughs> well, you're murdering with her joke. Um, <laughs> you should have done more of her jokes. It wasn't even. <laughs> I would have gone off the deep end and just did tall fucking Jew broad jokes. Because you're the rattlesnake. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, he's a naughty bad boy. The gloves are off. Don't fuck with me, Judy Gold. <laughs> yeah. Um, how come it sounds... Are we going to start soon? How come it starts anti-Semitic when you say Judy well, Gold? Jew. It just sounds anti-Semitic. Jew. D -Gold. D Gold. I love Judy. She's awesome, but whatever. Fucking <laughs> fuck me up. It worked. The joke still worked, but I did something else. It sucked. <clears throat> Shut my fat, insecure face. Do you think this is funny? <laughs> what do you think about this, Judy? That's my joke. Okay, you can have it, you fucking coward. Mm. I would have been famous 15 years ago if I told a couple famous people to go fuck themselves. Yeah, yeah. well, not really, but what are you going to do? Uh, Rachel Feinstein is in the house. So everyone's just afraid of you. That's the new theme of the show. They all just stare at you while you fucking rant. Nobody trashes Look, you or calls you fat. Us? No, yeah, you guys. All the are fucking, the fucking dead-eyed producers that are my mind. Oh, just, just gotta, staring. You just scared them out of it. She was just going to whip it out. Joke. Yeah. I know, yeah. but you made an Eminem joke before we went on air, and then we went on air. And yeah, he makes he him during the show. What do you? What do you? I'm, I'm waiting to be introduced here, so don't yeah. lash out at me, Lewis. I thought no, he this is what Lewis nice does. Person. This is he comes in, calls everybody a faggot, <laughs> fat <laughs> Jew, not. and then he fucking that, and his fans go. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does, Stand and then we'll go. They love, it. They love the then fact we go, then that we go camping. Trash that then, fucking... we, then we go camping. And he's the sweetest guy ever. It's all I a could, fucking so wrestling move. I saw move. the fun-loving family camping yeah. pictures. And it's all like horse a shit. Man. It's all garbage. He's not that guy. His fans are gonna go, dude. Fuck. Somebody's gonna have to murder somebody. He's not gonna do it. Like, I can't murder people. You fucking. We followed you. You should kill that bitch. She's a fucking cunt. Guys, guys, you call us guys, we're skanks. We're fucking skanks, Lewis. Put your hand up right now or I'll fucking kill you. Hey. What? Hey, man, you can be, look, there's Oh, you don't like it when it's back on you, you fucking Puerto Rican. You chubby, today. melting Puerto Rican. There's the, you the, ashy fucking Rican. You shitty tattooed fucking. I got a new one, it's not bad. It stinks. It's not bad. It's a four. It's not a four. It's a four. It's not a four. That's a four. 
It's not a four. What is it? Do you not know what fours are? <laughs> all right. <laughs> See, that's what he does. He jumped in at least. He does. I'd he rather does. him swing and miss than not swing. It's all, but he doesn't swing and miss. He said the funniest shit on this show, but nobody listened to him because he has the charisma of a fuck the bottom of a turtle. He <laughs> says funny shit I all love, the time. I love because I listen to the show sometimes. Sometimes I click in to see if you're talking about me, and you guys talk about me a lot. Yeah, we. Oh, you know, that's Bobby all we do. Was introing me before all this foolishness yeah. got Thank started. you for sticking up for yourself, and ladies and gentlemen. I... It's Judy Gold for the audio <laughs> listeners. <laughs> it's Rachel Minorowitz. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> how how are you, Rach? Thanks, Bobby. I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. What a lovely gentleman you are, Bobby. I am a gentleman. <laughs> Ugh, she fucking got me sick a month ago. No, Voss got me Fuck sick. My, got he you? wasn't I made sick. out with Voss and I got sick. And then what? I'm kidding. I got sick from Yeah, Voss. and you came in here and violated me. Sexually? And violated my guests no. by talking on microphones. What? You should stay. People who are sick, stay the fuck home. I'm on antibiotics. Yeah, you sh I hope it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I hope it doesn't work. I hope, I, hope, I hope you get thinner and your legs give out. I love that. Uh, I forget about germs. I never really worry about germs. I'll share a drink. I don't. I don't care. like this shit. Mm. I don't like this virus. I think you need to share more because then you start to build up more of an immunity. This is why potheads are never sick. Potheads are just fucking crushing it. That sounds very pothead <laughs> of you. Yeah, <laughs> it makes no sense. What, dude, man? Potheads don't get sick. Go surreal and fucking potheads <laughs> don't get sick. <laughs> and let me tell you something, dude. Trump is gonna win again. <laughs> Also likely. <laughs> oh, fucking absolutely. Uh, I like beer, I wish, and I'm crushing it. <coughs> I wish they had Trump stock. I'd buy some. <laughs> uh, you, you know, I am an Equinox member still. Oh, how do you feel about that? I bought, tell a, I bought another membership. No, you didn't. I bought it. I buy, buy beer for two memberships now. Just <laughs> really, just to have one for just shits and giggles, it, just to support the cause. Should, should poor Trump? Twenty Trump, twenty twenty. I wonder <laughs> if I wonder if it, it had no. You told you told me today we were talking about this. He was like it had no effect on his subscription. None. If it was New York Sports Club, it would have shut the place down because it's Equinox. He said it's such a great place. There's nowhere to go else. What else, yeah. where else can you go? If you're in L.A., New York, if you want to travel, if you you want a high-end, really beautiful, Whoa. sexy fucking gym with Kiehl's products and beautiful amenities and a uh, eucalyptus steam room and eucalyptus towels. You don't get it. There's the next step down is Crunch, and Crunch is for fucking Dominicans. And gays. Excuse me, I go to Crunch. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. She's it's Dominican. complete garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 oh, it's a tr deep trash gym. But I soul cycle today, and um, and I have to, I do soul cycle sometimes, and I do have to say that, like, I thought about it for a second, and then I was like, eh. you know, I like their bathrooms. They have very pleasing lotions. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Cycles are owned by Equinox, and they own Blink as well. Yeah, but also, it's like, if you're going to start boycotting with Trump, it's like, he's bought and paid for. Like, he's, it's not just, you can't even start with Excuse SoulCycle. Me. There's a million things. The, every There's product like, on this in this room, you could find a million yeah, products yeah. that you'd have to start boycotting. It's the stupidest thing in the world. Also, the guy who fucking uh, owns a majority of stake in Equinox also owns a majority of stake in fucking whatever properties, related properties. Uh, like a, a, he's in bed with Trump because he's a fucking billionaire. It has nothing to do what, with his dumb gym. What is uh, okay, five hundred people canceling their two hundred dollar a month gym memberships means nothing to the cause. This guy is selling his fucking soul to continue being a billionaire. What is Blink? Is that what straight guys can get head from gay guys without anybody knowing? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I want a membership to that. Bobby, I've been going to Crunch. I've been going to Crunch for the steam rooms. Now I'm just going to go to Blink. <laughs> you went to Crunch for the candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Boom. Wow. Yeah. 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 You dry your hands with like dark brown paper towels at Crunch. Oh my it's terrible. terrible. Dry, they give you that hardened that like iodine soap from the nurse's office in yeah. the fourth grade. That's what they give you. Uh, the they know what you them. deserve at Crunch. Yeah. They just got rid of. I, I'm 24 hour fitness. And they just got rid of towels. They used to have towels, which I liked. <laughs> they have no towels. <laughs> you know, that came up in a meeting, and it was quickly decided. <laughs> yeah, where are you going to go? No fucking towels at 24-Hour Fitness. New York Sports Club was like, we're giving out a free month for anyone who wants to leave Equinox. Good luck. Anybody going to... If going, it's, like, it's like going from a Mercedes-Benz to like... Don't do the car one. Do the hotel one. The car one's no good. The you car did one's it. good. You did it in the car. I'm telling Johnson's, you. A Howard Johnson's, baby. A Howard Johnson's. We'll write better. it together. It's way better. It's like driving Mercedes Benz and then getting in like an 87 Honda Accord. And being right, well, like, well, that you changed it up. In the car, you did a Mercedes Benz to a Honda. A Honda's a nice car. 
Okay. Honda, no, no. A Honda's not a nice car compared to a Mercedes Benz. And anybody who's driven a Mercedes Benz, they're not going. They're not going like, why would anyone spend sixty grand in a Mercedes? You they're are. Going, Most people are. No, they if know you why. If you change the year, though, then I'm with you. You went 1980 Honda yeah. to an yeah. up to date Mercedes. The joke tracks. But <laughs> <laughs> what if Judy has that? Hit Judy joke Gold though? on the horn. <laughs> That's my oh joke. God, I wish she would call in right now. And know? she goes, "Let me go on before you." Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> Falling your manic horse shit. I saw Jody on the. I mean, Jody? I saw Judy on the. That's sorry, my uncle Judy. in New Hampshire. I saw Judy on the sidewalk when I was leaving Soul Cycle. What she? I, her anger it makes me laugh so much. She's just in the middle of the day, furious in the most hysterical <laughs> way. Yeah. She sees me. She's like, "How are you? How's your husband?" He just so he just climbs on top of you and just slams inside you. Is that how it works? I forget with straight sex, and he just slams. Ugh, disgusting. And she just walks in the gym past me. It was. She's always just walking around. Oh, it's better in than the fucking mushing pubes together like no. like little mushy squids just popping those together. <laughs> Ugh. Mushing pubes. You. Yeah, just a, two fucking suction suction cups sticking together. It's a lot of uh, oral, right? With lesbians, it has to. No, be. they fucking they rub. All the time. I don't know. Do you think they're really scissoring? I think that's not a I real thing. I think I think that's like they. I don't think it's really just scissoring. They, really? I think they scissor like the same way that we dry hump sometimes when we're not when we're trying to like four guys. Or I think you, it's a lot of finger. Guy? I think it's a lot of finger <laughs> finger. Well, we popping, did in the tent last right? night. Dude, a lot of finger popping. Did at one point we walked by the tent and James was oh. mounting Max facing <laughs> him. I swear to God, yeah. <laughs> literally legs around Max. Here's, they were nose to nose. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was like a romantic rom com in the eighties. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We were outside playing. Wait, this is what, what? Piece, this is what piece of shits we are. We're outside of the tent going, what if? They're in love. We're just like, what if we just open the tent and Max is just undoing James's <laughs> belt? <laughs> But what happened was James had mounted him because comics are so sick. We're terrible. We're terrible. Max was putting on his belt. Yeah. The whole trip is like literally every time James says something a little whiny, Bobby leans in and goes, "Yeah, you kid's a fucking faggot." I didn't say faggot. Yeah, I said, you did. You I did. said fag. Yeah, you it's a little lighter. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then anytime your kid did something yeah. remotely psycho, yeah, which you're... he does a lot. Yeah, well, well, you know, your kid's a pussy. You know, your kid's a psycho. I mean, your kid's a pussy. I mean, I mean, it's we fine. get mid in the middle. Kid, your kid's literally a psycho. Yeah, your kid's. Your kid's literally a rat. I'd rather have a cycle than a rat. That's also true. I had to yeah. tell my kid to stop oh, ratting. Just a ratter. <laughs> he would set Max up with something Max would do, it, and then he'd be like, Max did this to me. Yeah. And he, if there's anything that Lewis hates, a rat. I don't like oh, that. I, I had to tell him. him. I had to sit him down. He sat him down on a fucking bench in the he, woods. Oh, God, he's going to remember that long talk with you later on. I had a rat right? talk with my son. Yeah, he goes, listen, uh, me, me and Max are like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I'm like, let this go down. He needs to hear this. He did. He <laughs> ran his friend out. Because Max, uh, Bobby took away a toy from him, and then Max went in the car and got the toy. Yeah. Right? And so <laughs> James runs over, and he goes, Max got the toy. Oh. And I was like, what? Come here, what are you doing? I was like, no, what you do is you go to Max and say, don't get the toy, your dad's going to get mad. And then maybe if Max still goes and gets the toy, then you just step back and step let him get back. in trouble. Let That's him that. get in trouble. That's that. This little rat fucking just <laughs> screamed. At the, I, mean, yeah. I mean, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, we got, I, but I think all in all, though, what a great time. Incredible. I love the fact that they're best friends. It warms my heart. And yeah. you're right. I am a different person with my kid. I don't scream the N-word or... Yeah, well, good. Or, that's or, really uh, good. Oh, my or, God. That's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. you're. He's really patting himself on the back for that, too. <laughs> you're like, you deserve mountains of ass for that. <laughs> I'm going to start weeping. Well, no, people <coughs> who said something in front of my kid, they were like... They said something, and then they were you? like... Oh, I'm, well, today I brought him to the studio, and they were like, oh, I'm sure he's heard worse. And he hasn't. The re yeah. you could you could attest to this. I'm a fucking straight up liberal pussy when it comes to my son. How about this? When he ma you swore one time, and Max went Lewis, yeah. like he was in the tent, and he stuck his head. He goes Lewis, and he's like, "What, Max?" And he goes, "I heard you say those bad words." He's like, "Oh, I did." Like he, we not we try not to swear in front of him except call him fucking pussies and rats behind their yeah backs. behind their back <laughs> fucking half a fags. Yeah. I, uh, he's giving the middle finger yeah. as they're playing yeah, with behind each other. their backs. Yeah. We're like, what? we're like, when are we gonna fucking just blow each other when they go to? We're just waiting to go to bed so we can just suck each other off by a fire. Uh, that's why we really went out there. Yeah, me and me and Lewis have been fucking banging for years. You guys don't know that. Some video. I can feel the tension for sure. Yeah, yeah. I know you've. There's no tension. That. Yeah. Very loose. Very, oh, it's very loose. Just we 69 a lot. Yeah. Oh my God, it's terrible. <laughs> he, I get on the bottom. Obviously. Uh, well, you're a big boy. <laughs> I went through all the Instagram stories, and I was very engaged in your kids and their adorable relationship. Yeah. It was really, it was really sweet. 
Well, they're like, growing up without the, the. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're two wholesome fellas. We yeah. are. Well, well I'm wholesome with I'm wholesome with my son, yeah. and I'm tra- I'm training him for. Hang on, let's the... back up. Let's back up. What? Let's back up. What? what? Lewis is wholesome with this kid. I mean, what a fucking dad. That's why I had such a great time this weekend. Me and Lewis and the kids. I mean, really flawless, flawless. Except what? I'm gonna get That's to not it. Not flawless. Flawless is a specific. Definition. You can't say we flawless go, except. Yeah, we can. You can it's podcasting. You can say almost yeah, I made weekend. the podcasting rules. <laughs> you are in New York. You're one of the New York. Thank you. I'm one of the one of the, right, so you're not Rogan. We're, we're, well, well, I was before Rogan. Let's be real. Were you? Yeah. No. Absolutely. No. Totally. Prove it. <laughs> Fucking call, first first Robert Mike Kelly, KWD. Robert Kelly sometimes calling Quinn podcast. That is true. I was I started Burr. We also had the uh yeah. the friend time voicemails. Yeah, that was it. So <laughs> We're in the fucking supermarket. This is I've heard Lewis. his dumb fucking stories a this thousand is, times. This is Lewis. We're in the store. We're getting all this food. Kids are running around. Crazy. They have no shirts on. Sun's out, guns out. Ari Shafir, asshole. My sun's out. My kid takes his shirt off. So we're walking around, and uh, we're, we're almost walking out. Lady comes up. Hi, sir. We have uh, two hundred and fifty dollars worth of groceries for two men and two boys. Walks up. She goes, "Hi, sir. Yeah, the boys don't have their shirts. Do they have shirts in the car, Lewis?" What'd you say to her? By the way, they did have shirts in the car. I know they did. What'd you say? I said, no, they don't. And she went, well, and then I went, well, do you want me to kick, you're kicking them out? Do you want me to have the kids wait outside? Exactly. And then we <laughs> walked goes, away. She goes, well, I'm not being rude about it. Uh, and he says, yeah, exactly. And he walks away. Yeah. And I'm just like this. <laughs> <laughs> me, I, me, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> so then we'll leave it today. We're leaving today, and I go, Lou, just run in. I know there's an easier way to 87. Just oh, that ask. Bitch. I go, ask the lady in the front desk. <laughs> Fucking Rose, this cunt. I go, uh, I go, uh, I go, just ask her real quick. I know there's an easier way. He goes, yeah, all right, whatever. He just gets out, goes in, comes back seconds later. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> seconds. I know he didn't do it. Later. I know he didn't get nothing. <laughs> yes, I did. So he comes back, and I go, what happened? He goes, I said, uh, hey, do you know? She goes, I don't know. I just moved here. Rose, do you know? He goes, hey, Rose, do you know how to get the 87 quicker? She goes, well, where are you going? He goes, forget. I don't have time for this. Goodbye. <laughs> and he just walks out. <laughs> That's why is she asking me where I have to go? There's only one answer. The fastest way to get to 87. There is one answer. Now mm. she what she's doing is she's now prodding because she's fucking bored and lonely and right. she hasn't been spoken to so a fucking. So give her the story. No, I gotta go. <laughs> I got a podcast to get you in the East fucking Village right now. You got it right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she was. She now she's gonna give me a new route. I was like, bitch, I have GPS. I just want to know one simple answer. What's the fastest way to 87? There's uh-huh. one answer to it. Bobby would have told her the tale. And you would have complimented I'm good her at, Can I say something? something sweet, I'm Bobby. very good at small talk. Yeah, I am very good. You at really small are. Talk. He's talking to the fucking the the guy mm-hmm. that yeah. works the property. <laughs> yeah, we were, I'm trying to leave it. At one point, I'm like looking at Bobby, like just doing the thing like a, that a dad does, where he goes, he puts his hand on his hips, and just starts talking about the fucking foliage. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about with this guy. The guy at the front the, in the cart. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about where we leave the garbage. Because when we leave, we have to put the garbage. So I was, we, was so going to peg it at the guy. So we wouldn't have to go to the fucking dumpster. Yeah. I was trying to. So he was like, I'll pick it up. That's what I was doing. I was using no, small talk. No, we already talk, got that. Small talk got as that a tool. Information and no, that, you were enjoying the small talk. I love small talk. I'm a small, I'm the king of small talk. No, you're very good at it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I could do it right now. So what's going on? How's, what yeah, happened you today? Did, you, you did it with like, like when we were in Aruba, like my husband will have conversations on the road for me that I can't have anymore. I'm just done with these conversations. And so when, whenever I go on the road and somebody picks us up from the airport, he'll be like, you know, better weather here than there. You know, that's the great thing about being an uncle is you give him back. Like he'll say all those things. <laughs> Yeah. So I don't have to partake in them. And then he was doing it to Bobby. And Bobby, you were right there with him. You didn't miss yeah. a beat. Yeah. The big whole small weekend. talk guy. Yeah. I'm a big yeah. fan of small talk. Oh, you know what? I kind of like small talk too. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. I enjoy some small talk. I am. Like if I'm traveling <laughs> yes. and I just see a random person, yeah. I'll just start small talking. People will get mad at me because yeah. they're like, dude, you don't fucking know them. I'm like, yeah, we're too much in our own fucking walls. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't give a speech on small talk. <laughs> That's my job. I'm a small talk king. I'm sort of a small talk. You're a new guru. small guru. Okay, I'm a guru. king. I'm a small talk guru, so I sort of advise kings. That was, that, me and me and Lewis on vacation with the kids. It's just his speech, my speech. His speech, my speech. Just Anytime we talk. That's what we just give a speech. Dude, what you got to do is this. Nah, dude, what you got to do is this. Dude, but you got to do this too. That's true. <laughs> but this has to happen too. That's true. <laughs> Want some food? Yeah. Are you that guy that walks up to construction sites with questions? I've like with like, oh, what's a plan here? Oh, I've done that. And, like, I've I've actually looked through the hole oh. in the wall, and then I'll see a guy. What's got? What do they got going on? Another high rise? What's happening? I wonder what's going. There's gonna... nothing I 
relate to less. Like, how could you be curious about a commercial real estate bill? Like, who could <laughs> possibly care? Well, because you never know. They might have an Equinox coming. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Call back. It should have been my joke. Fuck that bitch. I'll actually, uh, uh, I will, I will catcall construction workers. I put it back on them for the ladies because I'm a feminist. Really? Yeah. What do you say? Like, if I'm walking, I have a hat, hard hat on. What do you got? Hey, fatty, nice tits. <laughs> Wait a minute now. <laughs> I mean, listen, I don't know. <laughs> Want to suck on those big old titties? I don't know about that. <laughs> La- oh, <God. laughs> that, that, there's guys by my house right now that are working on the roads, and they hiss. They go, you know that one. You sure there's not a cat around there? It's a cat. No, it happens. She thinks it's her. There's a gas leak. There's a gas leak underneath her building. Yeah. Yeah. They go, mommy, please. That's funny. Mommy, please. They don't even say specifically what they're asking. Just a Spanish guy and his gatos right there. Mommy, please. <laughs> they want nothing to do with you fucking ass like pale, pale bitches they don't like you yeah. <laughs> guys I've had enough oh I'm sorry that's your little your little gato I, I apologize your, can I pet your gato <laughs> you mean my dick <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to be Mexican oh. um, yeah, we had you, a great time can you get me in with a Ruba Ray side note I'm sick of not doing this. Really yeah, you, you learn how to small talk me. Maybe I'll get you in. I can small talk with Ruber Ray. Get him on the phone right now. I'll small talk him. Yeah, it's pretty. You gotta, you do it. You don't tricky. want him to have your number. I know. No, it's tricky. <laughs> it's well, tricky. A lot of people don't want. Him. All right. Huh? Nothing. Who? I love a Ruber Ray. Me too. I think what happened was one I, of the best I, podcasts I ever had was him and who's the guy from Australia, Smith. James Smith. James, James Smith. Smith. Aruba came in first when he got Aruba and he had the ponytail in, mm-hmm. and uh, he was really laid back. Like, hey man. Yeah, Aruba, bro. I love Aruba. And James Smith just kept pecking him. What are you doing there? You know, whatever the fuck accent that <laughs> shit accent is. Hi, is it a scam? He's like, it's not a scam, man. I just. He's like, no. I mean, you go there for six months. How do you make money? What do you? You? you what? How do you? What are you? You scamming something? He's like, it's not a scam. By the end of the podcast. Aruba Ray was just this angry Jewish guy with his ponytail out going, fuck you. You don't talk to me like I'm not a scammer. It's a legit business. A legit business. So fuck it. So it's a scam. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, had a good, you had a good time in Aruba. Aruba is yeah, skimming off the top, time. for sure. Yeah. He has to be skimming off the top. Because you skim off the top. I would never. I want to skim off the top of. Huh? I don't have access to the money in my businesses. I don't even. I don't even have overdraft wow. in my bank. I didn't account. even know you had multiple businesses. Multiple. That was very impressive. Yeah, multiple. It's, only, it's all going to come crumbling down. In my businesses, I'm going to start my sentences all, that it, way now. It's all going to crumble down in the next couple of years. He has a he has a meth habit nobody knows about. I learned about this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I was doing meth all weekend. <laughs> I had to hide it from the kids. I yeah. didn't hide it from nobody. You hit it. <laughs> Keep on sh- covering their fucking eyes. I'm like, come on, boys, let's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, me and fucking him playing basketball was hilarious. It's the saddest. Video. There's a video of it. Me and Bobby played basketball <gasps> for 20 minutes. Who took that video? I won two to one. Three baskets. 20 minutes. <laughs> scored Listen between to me. us. I, had, I grabbed my chest 14 times. <laughs> I didn't even move. I was just throwing it up from the key, and I couldn't make it to the rim, and it would bounce over the fence into a pond. And Lewis, Lewis had to run and get it. The, one guy wrote on the thing, like, uh, Bobby's just trying to make Lewis get a workout in. So I'm just throwing the ball. Like, I was just throwing the ball, and Lewis going to get it. Dude, it was the Terrible. saddest basketball game that's ever... It was pathetic. I mean, both of us just covered in sweat. Nats, like, we're both buffalo. <laughs> like, we're, we're both Nats just swarming our heads. And we're both... Uh, <laughs> I think I heard one kid go, you guys good? <laughs> like, the kids were, like, worried about us. Yeah, dude. It was What about the bad. pervert at the pool? There was a genuine pedophile staring at our I children. Don't know if he's, I don't know if alone? Was he alone? Yeah. Yeah. Staring yeah. at children, eating an ice cream cone, just... It was eating an ice cream cone. Eating ice cream, laughing in short shorts, just laughing jovially as the kids laughed. Like, just staring at them, just like... I walked up, and Lou Lou was like, dude, this fucking guy over here keeps staring at our kids. I go, our kids are hot. (laughs) You did. (laughs) did. I mean, what are you going to do? As long as he's not doing nothing, I mean, what the fuck, man? He was like, we can have him watch him for a little while. He's not going to touch him. We could fucking... Yeah, better have him him do this than go take him. You know what I mean? At least he's he's found a way around his addiction, you know? (laughs) Sir, sir. It's You're enjoying our kids a little bit too much. Yeah. He was well, our kids, enjoying our kids. Yeah, but our kids are smoking. I mean, uh, really. <laughs> great James, hair just glistening. Yeah. It's fucking great. Just too good. They Max do is, have some leading man looks here, boys. I know. I can't Get wait. some kids. We're going to start, start planning what they're going to do. What? Like how they're going to. Is going to be a band? Are they going to write some stuff? Are they going to be comics? My son's already doing all of it. 
Yeah, but what are we going to do? How are we going to make money off these little fucks? His son has businesses. His son <laughs> has. <laughs> in his son's My business. My son started watching Shark Tank this week. He loved it. Really? He's like, Dad, I hope they get a deal. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking best. It's you could have done that with you could have done with any show. Yeah. I hope they win. I hope they win that. Did they they say, did they say dead I hope they get do? eaten by bears. <laughs> did they say what they want to do? Do they ever say I want to be this? They want to say everything. You yeah, say yeah. you want to be an astronaut? Yeah. yeah you want to be a firefighter? That, yeah. Yes. You yes. want to be a cop? Yes. You want to be a female uh, volleyball player? I do. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. And I my know son wants to be a pizza man right now. Right. I right. remember What's thinking that the, the cash register seemed so cool when I was a kid. You know, like it was always four different things, like an actress, a well, dancer, and I wanted to work on a cash register. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I am a Jew. But anything like, but anything Jesus with Christ. buttons. Seems like, I just Did wanna... I tell you? He, you didn't even hear it. I knew you guys hated he literally... when I walked in. <laughs> <laughs> he literally go, and because you're a Jew, he said a funny line. No, yeah. She heard it. We didn't hear it because he just, just stinks. It was hateful, bad timing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought it was good. It was a good oh. He looks like he still owns a fucking videotape store. <laughs> They're coming back. He also just looks like you in a fake beard. Wow. Yeah. No, I don't, not even for that one. I don't, want you, I don't want you touching Can the Can I box. at least get the bomb bandana okay. back on the table? Jesus there Christ, you guys. It's YKWD. You know? <laughs> what is this? That's true. Um, Rachel? Yes, Bobby? How's your marriage? Pretty good. I just, Pretty good? I was, I was a good. It's a good. I mean, we just, we're only married a year, so we're happy. <laughs> How long yeah. were you together before you got married? Uh, we were ma- we were together about a year before before we got engaged. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. her husband. He's a cool guy. Firefighter. Now he's a chief. Yeah, he just passed his chief Indian? test. He's going to be a chief. Yeah, he's an. <laughs> no, you what? have to you have to be Indian hey. descent to be a chief hey. in the firefighters. Now that's that's law. He loves Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, because we went and we went by the stand the other night, and I guess he he smoked a cigar that you had given them. And well, he like, stands out in front of that shop all day long. Nope. So we were at the firehouse, and all the guys were smoking cigars when we left. <laughs> He's the chief, come on, guys! I'm fucking shocked. That was like fucking it. great. It was a good He's one. standing in front of the I shop all day one. long. I didn't I hear know. one. We got a video. We'll watch it again later. Can we edit that to make that perfect? Because I feel like that was a fucking solid right, one. Yeah, we'll cut it out. Go what ahead, were you saying, Ray? <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. But yeah, he like he likes Bobby. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, we have a pretty good time, you know, because yeah. he's because firemen are kind of like comics where they say on they sit around like we do and they say unspeakable shit to each other I know. and then so they don't care like I feel like I have to watch my mouth more with regular people, you know what I mean? Like I, mean, I still should watch my mouth, but I'm just There like, is a I do have two different gears with that. Yeah. Cuz you can't the shit that me and Lewis were saying this weekend. I know. And we were making each other laugh and it was such terrible shit. But it was so fucking funny, man. I mean, we, we literally, we have our kids are right there, and we're just whispering, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. But you can't, like, if I was with a, a like, you know, one of Civilian. Max's friends, yeah. civilians, the squares, yeah. I couldn't talk like that. Couldn't talk. Even though, like, I told, there's these guys from the cigar bar who their 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 kids go to school at Max. And I told him when I used to work with the mentally uh, retarded or mentally specially challenged. What the fuck do we call it? What is it? Mentally what do we call Ill? them again? Uh, abominations. <laughs> God's mistake. So what are you talking I knew, about? I knew if I threw it to him, he'd say something. He'd have a good one, but I don't think abomination. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you think they know how to work a podcast? Don't worry. Don't Jesus we're Christ. Christ. We're I said when I used to, I used to They work. freak out if you put headphones on them. They start screaming. It's That's fucking- in fucking one movie you dumb dumb <laughs> um so when i worked in the house with six elderly re- retarded mentally handicapped mentally challenged adults um they one of these to call me ball. ball really yeah this one guy go ball so anytime i go into the scar pond now they're all like in unison ball <laughs> 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 and anytime one of them calls me, like, ball. <laughs> well, most people aren't legitimately like squares, like in real life. Like, they don't really give a shit. Like, most people do enjoy an under the radar, like, racist yes. joke or like fucked up joke, especially anybody who's above the age of 30. I mean, like, <coughs> college kids now, I think, would probably be. I think we're, but, uh, but that's why I'm raising my kid to be a, a fucking pussy because he has to navigate that world now. Like it's not our time anymore. He has to live in this to, new world. You're not raising him a pussy. I don't think. I I think that we have to. Our kids. No, I think our kids have to change that that fucking horse shit. Our kids have to go look. 
Our dads hung out with us. Our dads were cool. Our dads made jokes and said fucked up shit. All our dad's friends said fucked up shit. They were comics and podcasters, and it was all in the vein of being funny. Yeah. We weren't trying to hurt feelings. We were trying to help people. We were trying to release shit. But the world will change, yeah. just like, uh, you know, my, my father, I never had a father, but, well, you, you know, did. He just got murdered. He was murdered. Yeah. But <laughs> your, like, your he father- was such evil. <laughs> your, yeah, was fucking murdered in the streets. <laughs> God. Your father. I love that he, he told me this. Can we play goes, some soft piano music or something. <laughs> yeah, but he goes like, "This is weird." He goes, "Look, James doesn't know his grandfather died. He doesn't know how he died. No, and I was just like, just face down in the street. Well, I, you shouldn't. Know. I told him he's a war hero. Ready. I told me he killed Hitler. <laughs> he killed Hitler, James. Single-handedly. Yeah, he can't. He, he, he slit Hitler. He's throat. a war hero. If the war was an ounce of heroin, <laughs> <laughs> there was a war for an ounce in Rockland County, it was in Patterson, New Jersey. And uh, no, I told my because I, I wanted to give him some context, at least a little bit of the real story. Right? Thank right. you. So I told him that he was killed by. Dad, a, no, maybe be James. Dad. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Max. Max just pee peed on a tree. James, let, just let Max pee on pee pee out a tree. Don't rent him out, okay? Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, but if I'm gonna touch that letter, I don't want pee pee on us. <laughs> Anyways, Dad, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Dad, sounds like Michael Jackson. Yeah, Dad. why do you have such a faggoty voice, James? Because he's what I tell you. <laughs> he's a fag. Can I have your daughter? <laughs> Dad, Dad. I don't have a daughter, but bring my daughter in. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Be, be the, the daughter. Yeah, yeah. Good. Hey. Yeah. Zoe, Bobby, look. sometimes I get scared of all the disgraceful things you say on Mr. Bobby's <laughs> podcast. It's my daughter and the fucking sound of music. What is this? I gotta like it. Hey, sis. <laughs> Poppy, I took a risk with this character. Just go with it. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> hey, sis. Poppy, why did you call mentally challenged people abominations? <laughs> that was perfectly awful, and you should tell God and Jesus and apologize. <laughs> I agree, Daddy. <laughs> I'm a big pussy. <laughs> hey, Dad, how do I get as many penises in my mouth as possible? <laughs> hey, Dad. Dad, what happened to Papa? <laughs> Poppy, do you pretend like you're a good dad's for the ass that you think you'll get? Think. Or are you? What do you really think we were doing by the ass? fire last night while the kids were asleep? <laughs> just fucking show me this fucking. Yeah, but, but, I mean, just girls he's dating. Anyways, I love that he was concerned you were gonna mess up his flow of steady Fine. puss right there. Well, you, didn't show a, me. you you did a gentlemanly thing and you back. Well, off. he didn't show me anything outrageous. He showed me you know faces of pretty girls. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> sure. You like sat by the fire and looked at faces? <laughs> and granddaddy killed the Nazis? <laughs> Is that how life works, Poppy? You <laughs> sat by the Fuck fire and looked at faces. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bobby showed you pretty girls' faces and said, don't they have pretty eyelashes? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Bobby, you stink. <laughs> we looked at faces. Oh, oh, fuck. It's a disgusting shape of life. <laughs> it's too pointy at the top. <laughs> oh, fuck. Who said it's too pointy? Me. Here What's your go. name again? Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, gosh. dude. Shit. Motherfucker, uh, brother. Yeah, so I told my son that my father was killed by a Wait, I'm not grind. done. Wait, oh, I'm not done. God. Dad, papa. What are you calling, Pappy? Papa, Pappy. Pappy. Dad, pap, 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 Pappy. 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 Because you're, you're Spanish. Pappy. Rachel's only experience with Hispanic men is men that she slept with. <laughs> Poppy. Yeah. Oh, oh, guys that think she's Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Poppy. What happened to Pappy? What happened to Pappy? What happened to, what happened to older Poppy? <laughs> Well, James, um, yeah. well, it was actually in Disney World. I didn't want to tell him the truth. I didn't want to. I was like, ah, I don't want to talk about it now because I didn't. I didn't prepare. <laughs> I didn't prepare for the question. Yeah. Of like, what happened to, to your dad? Because yeah. he knew he was dead. And then, uh, so he was like, No, tell me. And I was like, All right. So then I, I lied and I said that he was killed by a drunk driver. Really? Because then there's a bad. And guy. that drunk driver was him, and he wasn't in a car. Yeah. He was on heroin. That's not what happened. My what dad happened? was stabbed to death. I know. When I was four years old, and. Yeah, there had, uh, there, but I liked. I gave the a bad guy. So There's tragic. a villain in the story. It's so tragic. Yeah, I know. So everyone's like, like, oh, Kimowitz died. What, what could those kids possibly be going through? I was like, really, really? I'm right here, everyone. <laughs> I'm right here, motherfuckers. What the fuck? What? How did you make that jump? Whatever. It's been long enough. It's too soon. <laughs> no, it's not too soon. <laughs> but DeRosa's Instagram uh, on on Dave. Uh, 
he deserved better. I'm like, what? Better than murder? What are you? What are you? <laughs> stop trying to be fucking poetic, you dumb dummy. <laughs> yeah, everybody deserves better than murder, except Hitler, and that's it. And my father. Yeah, okay, your father. Hector Gomez. Hector. When you hear that Hector oh. Gomez uh, was murdered in the newspaper, nobody's like, he's probably a good guy. Yeah, Is Hector. he a super daddy? <laughs> <laughs> daddy, did he take care of other people's apartments? Yeah. Um, there's actually the white truck outline from his body. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you pointing that up. Very <laughs> Look how fat thing. his hands were. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was wearing just... mittens when he died. <laughs> 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 it's about to get cookies out of the oven. Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nobody even acknowledges right. it. Right. Well, so, it, yeah. I, think... I, I gave a villain to the story to my son. So, yeah. you know, he does know there's a bad guy. And then somebody mentioned there was, somebody mentioned a car accident. And he was like, that's how my grandpa died. And I was like, no, he's just fucking telling this story. You should. You should, say, you should say he got, he got, um, someone was very mad at him and he poked him full of holes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. No? No, that's like even more. No. Okay. Well, he's right, like, well, he's going to have nightmares about right. people putting holes in him. Okay, how about this? How about this? I got it. 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 There was, okay. <laughs> Pappy was walking on the street. <laughs> Pappy is so Pappy. funny with your accent. Pappy was walking on the street. He's got a big white beard and a <laughs> corn cob pipe. Pappy was Pappy. He's not a 26 year old Puerto Rican guy with fucking heroin bundles in his back pocket. <laughs> Pappy. <laughs> Pappy was walking on the street and there was a. He was going to his coal mining job. Pappy was walking on the street and there was uh, a man selling knives on the street. And. And his cart slipped and flew down the hill <laughs> and fell into Pappy, and all the knives yeah. went into Pappy, and he got stabbed to death by How a cart of better? knives. James, you remember this morning when we cut up your avocado? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was now, like that was like Pappy's chest. <laughs> now imagine the avocado was Pappy's lower intestine. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do you know what your father got stabbed? How? What do you mean? Like, how did he get stabbed? Yeah, Whatever. Like, with like a knife? In, in the heart or in the stomach? Like, what was it? One knife thing? Was it, was it like, Harikari? Was it? Like, I'm, I'm assuming he, he was a. He fell on a sword out of dishonor. For like family. 17 real quick ones in the back, like a prison stab. Like a butterfly knife. <laughs> <laughs> five just, in, five just, in his neck. Five in his. He side. just fell in ten pieces. <laughs> You know, his body just slid off. Yeah, they slid in the <laughs> Let's go to a car. That's a good one. We can tell. <laughs> no rage. We can say he fought a ninja. That is weird. That's no, a good one. That is a fun one. That is more fun than, you know. I say fighting a ninja. He, got, he died fighting a ninja. Yeah. There well, you go. It's almost. The, it's yeah. almost <laughs> accurate. Right. Close, right? A ninja. Okay, never mind. Ninja. Yeah. That was it. Jesus Christ. What? Did I, uh, he, did he, did you, he made, you made a die fucking a, Rachel's like, eyebrows fall off on that one. She went, why am I here? <laughs> did he die? Was it a, a argument with somebody he knew? Where, where did it happen? I'm just trying to. She's know. going by what she hears in the fucking, in her college crime class. It's usually somebody you know. I didn't go to college, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad. Leave Ray Ray alone. No, he was. I was very dumb. Ray Ray, we're going to go play in a tent together again? <laughs> We uh, we got that we got that little we got that little bottom max. <laughs> bottom. We, oh, Max is a bottom. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even like it's not because Max is he's seemingly a tougher kid. Yeah. But Ma like when it comes down to it, right. Max loves to be penetrated anally. <laughs> That's a fact. I don't know about anally yet, but yeah, I mean. Well, you know, he doesn't actually get it in there yet, but they. I you think, know. I, actually, I think the opposite. I think Max is a kisser. <laughs> Max is a kisser. He kisses James. He yeah. kissed him again as he left today on the cheek, though, not the lips this time. Did he kiss him on the cheek? Yeah. Oh, he really loves James. He really James. loves James. I know. I know. So it's sweet. Cute. But last time he kissed him on the lips, Bobby's like, no, Max, no kissing other boys on the lips. <laughs> and then uh, we had the, when he was mounting him, when <laughs> he was- say that. He basically did. I did not. It's not basically you know, you say No, you hit him in the newspaper. Like, no, That's Max. <laughs> no. No, I did not. Ben, Max. I you shoved not. his nose in shit. I tell yes, you, you did. I, I tell you what's hard, because Max has literally become a different- person this last week and i was trying to tell lewis because his kid's a year older and i was like dude it's like this week has been the toughest week of parenting he woke up the day we were going camping don had all the towels and his clothes for the camping trip in a pile that she washed and dried and folded and had it ready he woke up and just walked out and pissed on him serial killer Really? And he was he was just peed on because I, I guess he couldn't make it or something whatever, and he just peed on the clothes. And then he came and he goes, "My," he was smiling like I peed on the, and Dawn fucking lost it. 
She was like, Maximus. That's why we named him Maximus, because Max, Max wouldn't, <laughs> Max, no, Max, I'm up. How do you not laugh when you say, when you yell that, when you're angry? It's such a funny Really, are such parents, yell. the full, yeah. the fu- we, I legitimately say his full name when I'm angry, like a dad, yeah, like out of a, fu- yeah. James Sidney Gomez. Yes. I say Maximus Kelly. <laughs> 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 so another thing is like this week, he just, uh, for six years he's been, I go, Max, yeah, dad? This last week, I go, Max, Max, Maximus, Maximus, Max. What? When I say your name, what do you do? Say what, Dad? Then why aren't you fucking doing it? I just. Dude, why did you take away this trip again the day before? You told me it was so funny. Oh, (laughs) he goes like this. So he's being, I mean, all morning, fucking with Dawn to where Dawn came in. She goes, I need your help. And she never needs, she, she handles it all the time. So I was like, all right, Max, let's go. And I think I'm just going to take over and do my dad thing. And so he starts fucking with me. And he, I'm like, Max, stop it. Stop. Don't do it. Stop that. Don't do it. All of a sudden, he comes up. I'm trying to talk to him. I go, Max, I want to talk to you. What's going on? And he's t- taking the door of the, we have these barn doors in the bathroom. And I'm sitting on the toilet trying to talk to him, you know, just sitting there. And he's like, and he, I go, stop with the door. Enough. Stop it. You move that door one more time. We're not going on this trip. And he went like this. <laughs> oh god that makes me love him and i'm watching him he's just saying grab the door and he went like this and he as soon as he put it on i go we're done <laughs> cancel the trip go lewis tell him it's done i was like we're not going he's like no 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 he went no 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 dad 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 <laughs> And he started crying. Like he couldn't help himself. Couldn't help it. Like oh. he needed to be defiant. That's like a fucking. Couldn't help. And then I was like, he's like, and he started crying. He's like, and I know when he's legit. And he's like, Dad, I messed up. One more chance. Please, one more chance. Like, and I was like, well, you got one more chance. I've only given him two one more chances his whole life. One time in Vermont and the, this, this Monday. There's going to be a time, because I, <coughs> I do the countdown where I want my son to do something. I'm like, all right, I'm going to count to five. That's that, right? And I've never made it to one. I'm like five, four, and then by three or two, he's there. He doesn't realize if I get to one, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> like there's no, like there's nothing real. Like what am I gonna do? Yeah. I don't hit him. I don't really Good. yell at him. I don't. I have that joke him. in my act. It's like, dude, all we have, all I have in a Walmart to control my kid. You're gonna get a consequence. I'm gonna count to five, and nothing will ever happen. <laughs> and one day he's gonna just stare me down. I'm gonna go. Five and a half, <laughs> and he's gonna just walk quarters. by me with a fucking ice cream, huh? <laughs> eating an ice cream and fucking nine toys in his hand. He's gonna bitch pay for this. My dad would give us such specific threats it would, that would really haunt me. For he would threaten my brother. I'm gonna take your, you, you know, you, you touch your sister once more. I'm gonna take you to the How? park where your friends smell are your playing. fingers. You finger your sister once more. I'm gonna <laughs> you touch your sister one more time. I'm getting my camera out. Listen. He's not kidding. Stop fingering her. No, so he would he would go if you touch your sister again. I'm gonna take you to the park where your friends are playing soccer, and I'm gonna pull your pants down and spank you in front of all the friends. What? And I'm gonna tell him. Yeah, it was so specific. Wow. And my brother, yeah, they was too specific and haunting. Me, he would just throw me. I, he didn't really hurt me, but he would just pick me up and hurl my body, my dumb body. <laughs> yes, I was always getting hurled. My dad threw his back out throwing me when we were at Hershey Park as a family. hurled, <laughs> just into a bush, like into no, like usually crab grass? on some sort of safe surface. But you would be in the middle usually. of usually. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, sometimes he'd miss, you know. But usually, He's an older it was, man. <laughs> yeah, he would grab me mid bad thing. And then I just feel my dumb body being jerked and hurled. And he would usually throw. <laughs> Do you feel like you were here? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you were here. You're like, oh, what yeah. happened? And it was usually on a couch or a bed. or so I landed. But it was very. But now I am I still have that feeling. Like at any moment I could be thrown. You know, like when I break in the roll. Yeah. My dumb body. My stupid, stupid body could just go flying through the air. Yeah. So fucked Yeah. Up. And then it would ruin the whole Hershey Park trip. We were so excited to go to like the Chocolate City or whatever. And that was it. My dad threw his back out throwing me and it was a wrap we all had to go to the hospital and just wait for him suck are you gonna hit your kid when you have one no i don't think i'll hit the kid i think you just you know take things away and stuff Sorry that's rachel's liar that. alarm <laughs> <laughs> See that? i don't think i'll beat the shit out of him or anything yeah you're not you're not Sorry. gonna hit your kid you're gonna uh. spank him 
I mean, no, I don't plan to spank. I think you could take enough stuff away that you don't have to spank. I mean, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not going to be one of those soft talkers, though. So my 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 nephew, like, one of those people that kind of over I'll explain what I'm saying. So my I was over at my nephew's, and they were playing with this this couple, and and the little boy kept punching my nephew, like you know, punching him, right? I, you know, and then they would pull him away, and then he would bite him or something, and then they pull him away. And the mothers, how old kept, is how old are the kids? The kids are like four, 25. and then okay, and then the mother, <laughs> <laughs> Jews, <laughs> and then the mother leans down like next to her like wildly violent son and goes. Uh, Tommy, we don't hit in this house. We don't yeah. hit in this house. And he, it meant nothing to him. He's mm. like, no, we do hit. I, I just punched Luca. <laughs> He's like, we absolutely do. No, I've been no, repeating. You don't hit it in this house. It made no sense. <laughs> I never understand that when parents do that thing where they're like, this doesn't exist. The thing you're actively doing, mm. we don't do that. We're passive. He, the kid's like, the kid's no. Probably, I don't, I don't believe that day. kids just start hitting. Them. I think that kid probably is getting hit by another kid or he's learning that behavior from somewhere else. I don't think kids are inherently violent. Well, no, 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 no. Kids use kids use biting and hitting. It for, it's kids different. use biting and hitting, hitting because it, they, yeah. they're verbally, they don't know how to talk. Yeah. They don't know how to express themselves. So the problem is that mom is probably spoiling the fuck out of the kid and he's never... Had to hear no, never had to work to, in order to get something, never had to uh, yeah, but he overcome. Doesn't, he, he doesn't know how to say, I don't like when you do that, or I want this. He doesn't. It, a lot of it's verbal. Because as soon as a kid learns how to talk, they, they stop biting. They stop hitting. Yeah, you know, Max used to bite, and he just, he was behind people verbally. So what do you do? How, he had to learn how to retract those teeth, I know. When you... <laughs> When you want something, <laughs> when you want something and you can't, ah, you just, ah, and you bite. That's what yeah. they did. As soon as you learned how to talk, it all went away, you know. But, yeah, I think, I don't, like, I see you. Like, James, like, Max, you, James is fucking frightened of you when you get that parent tone. Yeah. When he goes, when Lewis, when Lewis goes, James, does it, you know, when you have to do that thing, I'm yeah. serious. His kid goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> like you punched him once, yeah. you know what I mean? No, but like, I never have, and I've yeah. never, and I'll tell you why. Because I don't yell, I very rarely yell. So when I get when I get a serious tone, yeah. he feels it. And yeah. I'm also very very affectionate with my son. So like right. I'm constantly telling him that I love him. I constantly yeah. reward him for doing good that's things. Why I'm constantly, but, it, <laughs> but it, it's very sensitive, very sweet. So yeah, if I'm exactly. not happy with him, yeah, and I express him, James, I'm not happy with you. Yeah, if I don't break from not being happy, then he'll start crying. Like he'll straight up start crying that he because he didn't make his mom or dad happy. Yeah, some, yeah my little, dad never. Said oh, I my kid him. is a psycho. No he bought this nail thing where you put it on your finger. It looks like a nail went through your finger and blood's coming out. Yeah, yeah. He it's, showed both of our kids. His kid almost had a heart attack. Yeah. My kid walked up. What is it? How'd you do that? Can we do so it? So smelling the blood. Yeah, he's like licking the blood. Is that real blood? <laughs> like, Jesus. My kid was like, Dad, oh, oh, are you okay? You just said it though. I've like this last week. I yelled at Max. I kind of raised my I, ra I raised mm -hmm. my voice. I didn't kind of. I raised my voice at him, and I lost. Now I'm done because there's nowhere to go. It's like a score from one to ten. If you give something a ten, there's nowhere to go after yeah. that. Right. And I, I I raised my voice. Now this I was con I'm trying to bring it back down. That's why I was kind of good to hang out with another kid because it was yeah. like, you know, even <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to scream at my kid. He doesn't scream at his kids, so it was like this good balancing. Yeah, thing and it's us. also we the, we do a really good job at also kind of picking up the slack for the other one. Let's say you're doing something, setting up the campfire. Like, yeah. I think Max he really respects me, and James respects you. So we have this thing where it's like if I see if you see my kid acting like a dick in a moment, you can say, "Hey, James, don't do that. That's not fair." Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with Max. Like today in the fucking car, he's going back and forth about the music. Oh, just okay. and then it became a thing where it's like the one kid chose one song, and then Max chose another song. And James like, I don't really like that song. So then the next time was Max's song. Max was like, I'm going to choose that one again. Yeah. And then James like, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to choose Queen, Bohemian yeah. Rhapsody. Again, which is a nine-minute-long song. And Max <laughs> hates. Oh, it's a fucking... Max a queen, by the way. By the way. All Queen all the time out of this kid. Max Bon Jovi, Foo Fighters, Ramones. All Queen all the time. This is fucking Christ. But I think there's Bicycle. too... You could do too much of that. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Short I want to ride it now. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> how did Papa die again? Puppy, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> just with a big lollipop. That's so funny. He just had the Brady kissing, his son kissing him. 
What? I kiss my kid on the lips. I, I kiss my shit. kid on the lips all the time. Yeah. People, is that weird? It's yeah. not weird. No. I don't think I it's fucking weird. I kiss my niece weird. and nephew on the lips all the I time. I kiss your too. niece and nephew on the lips. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Please hot. do. But- <laughs> Please do. What'd you do? What'd you break with your gorilla strength? I used to. I got phone? in trouble because I would make out. There was this girlfriend. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Whose kid did you make out? Right. What the fuck is wrong with you, Ray? No, we had a game. Me and my, me and one of my friends, and we would make out with each other in the game. And then my mom found out about what it, and we got out? a sex therapist Tom? come over to talk to me, and it was very traumatizing. Rewind for one second. I'm sorry, Rachel. I love That's that right. game because this is hot. <laughs> First of all, it's kind of hot. <laughs> Slow down. How old were you? I was like. Hang on uh, one sec. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I just want to break over this terry cloth hood. That oh, your white hood now. Okay. My, my, I know. This, you can't wear this now, Chris. Oh, white hood. Chris, you can't wear just a white hood. Yeah, I wouldn't. What's wrong with you? Not on YouTube. You can't. He gave me these hoodies, but you can't wear this. Yeah. So, Rachel, how old were you? And explain this game to me. Um, oh, that's I, Tom Brady. The only thing that makes that bad is that. He's other gu- no, the other guy's hand. There's like a third man well, that's rubbing Tom down. He's while this laying is down shirtless. And yeah. his, how old is his son? Yeah. His son's around 14. No. It's a little. Like- it, look, uh, my son, now that he's almost seven, yeah. I don't always kiss him on the lips. He's 11. I turn my face. He's 11. It's- when did you stop showering with him? I never. Sh- I wanted to shower with him. He wouldn't do it. Right. I was like, James, you want to shower together? He's like, no, fucking weirdo. <laughs> away from me. What are you doing? Uh, you just want to be around that big Puerto Rican dick. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I fucking really. I I, I was wanted. I was imagined like I never had a dad to shower with, and you always just like it was a weird Most thing. Most kids head. don't miss that aspect of parenting. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a dad to give me. To My dad. Shower I've, with. I've showered with Max. I mean, have to just shower, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. What'd you say? I said I miss it. Miss what? Showering with my dad. Don't Why? you? It's a bonding it thing. It seems like it'd be fun still. <laughs> yeah, well, I think when the kid gets pubes, that's when you say, all right, we're done with this. Yeah. I remember being so disgusted by my dad. Just like it made me want to have nothing to do with men. Just man, men's bodies look so bizarre and jarring. <laughs> and then sudden, one and then one day, they're, yeah, they're exactly what you want. But yeah, and when I was a kid, I just remember all my okay. dad and my dad's friends looking nasty. Rewind the makeout game now. Yeah, let's go yeah. back. How I'm sorry. I saw a subject with <laughs> young boy sex. <laughs> well, we, we had a game. I talked about this on stage, but I'm not doing the joke. But we had a game where I, me look and my friends. Look at me when friends, you talk, though. Don't look at this. <laughs> <laughs> we played the one was the boss and the other was the secretary. And her name, his name was Mr. Company. And my name was Chrissy Tinkers. <laughs> I'm stealing And this. I would have to bring over like briefs and papers because we thought that's what men wanted. Like, the, you know, like we didn't understand man business world. So, you know, just and pa- so briefcase and papers and work. There was stuff. a lot of paper, and her yeah. dad had no idea we were playing this weird like whore Mr. game Company. in his office, <laughs> Mr. Company. How yeah. old? Were you? <laughs> we were probably like, I mean, we were young. We were like eleven, and then we would play it, and All then right. she would All throw right. me it's, on the bed. No, it's not not hot. Can you bring up? Can you bring up eleven year old girl? Let's just see what that <laughs> no. looks. I have to visually see this, Bobby. Right. I'm kidding. It was a joke. But um, really, did I step it, over it? <laughs> Yeah, but actually do it. No, I'm kidding. But she told her mom, and then her oh mom God. called my mom, and don't we, type that we, in the computer. Oh, what are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> it's my don't job. type that do in the. That. No, it's not. Yes, don't, it is. No don't put that on a computer. That. I didn't type oh, in eleven year old girl hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see. It. I don't want to <laughs> see. I don't want to. <laughs> first of all, I don't want oh these God. dumpy ones. <laughs> Rachel, hold on. When you say make out, you were tongue kissing this girl. Yes, making out. Like straight up sexual, like into it though. But you guys were. It wasn't just a game. You were sort of one of. She was she a lesbian. Uh, I think one of them, one of the girls that we hooked up with <laughs> was, but like we did, I mean, and it was like, we basically, one was the boss, one was the secretary. I would drop the papers. I would get in trouble. Mr. Company would always, always angry. It was always like, God Mi- damn it, shit. And then what the <laughs> fuck did you do now? Percy Tinkle, get your ass yeah. in here. He always like completely had it. Like it was, and I felt like it wasn't. Well, he worked a 60 hour work yeah. week, Rachel. All I would do is bring papers over and she'd be like, ah, shit, Chrissy. God damn this What's bullshit. What is this? Worked a six hour work week. Can you do anything right? I'm so sick of your shit. And then I'd be like, I'm sorry, Mr. Your company or whatever, and then she would lift my chin up, try to kiss me, and then I would be, and then I'd be like, "No, Mr. Company," and then <gasps> it was like a rape fantasy too. Smack Mr. Company, and then she would. Th- <laughs> there was what? a lot of smacking because when well, you're a girl and you watch movies, 
and 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 the women smack the men in the movies, and I yeah, thought, and in real life. Well, I mean, it doesn't happen as much as you would think. Like, I've I thought never that dated that was, a girl that hasn't smacked me in the face. Yeah, but that's because you're yeah, because you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. that's because you're yeah. a pig, and you yeah. deserve because of some hey. swine unspeakable yeah. thing she called you. Because your dick smells that's like different. popcorn. <laughs> no, I thought, but you know how in movies like a man says something fresh, and then you this is like yeah. kid watching adult movie, and then yeah. you smack him, and that seemed exciting and like sexual to me. I didn't understand. Like I would smack the boys to flirt with them, and they'd be like, well, "I feel I still feel guilty about some of the boys." Fuck off, you dumb bitch! Like there, yeah, there Stop was just this me. one like quiet artistic kid, Josh, the kind of kid that's always like cover and shielding yeah. his work. And I smacked him one day, and he was like so upset. Yeah, yeah. I still feel guilty. I thought it was Rachel. a sexy thing to do. I didn't know yeah. like what what was sexy, and I was trying to flirt with him, but I still feel yeah. bad. He was like just so hurt and confused. Like, hey, Rachel, he can I borrow a pencil? He's like, "You yeah. pig!" You yeah, it seems to me a I sexy a, thing. You I smack had a girl, Carol. Coughlin, <laughs> when I lived, I lived on Johnson Avenue with my grandmother and all my uncles and aunts. Carol Coughlin, we went to uh, parochial school together, and she would have to walk down my street to go home. Bobby and thought I, it was I would, parochial school, and I would, I would. <laughs> Sorry, where is it? You got it. I'm I would. Uh, <laughs> I had this cave, plastic caveman bat, and I liked her so much. And every time she'd walk down, I'd fucking whack her with that bat. <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't know why. I liked Whacked her so her much. It was, a, it was a plastic caveman bat, and she would come down, so and I would just like, whack her. her. And she'd be, like, she'd be like, ow, ow. And I, just, I didn't know how to go. I, 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 you know, I yeah. didn't know how to say it. So that's, Maybe that's what happened with my dad. Maybe the guy liked him. <laughs> was trying to just On that note, stick him. Uh, I got to do a sad guy. guys. Brooklinen.com. You spend a third of your life in your sheets. Don't you want to be insanely comfortable? I love my sheets. I love them. And now that this warmer weather is here, maybe it's time to switch up your sheets and duvets to something a little breezier, lightweight and soft. I love, I actually had a uh, pillowcase, two pillowcases from uh, Brooklyn this weekend camping. So soft, so comfortable. Uh, check out the new linen collection with this beautiful assortment of colors. It's amazing. I love Brooklyn. I have, I have three sets of Brooklyn's. Always on my bed. They sent me one. I bought two. I bought them for gifts uh, for people, too. I bought them for my, uh, my mom, uh, my sister. You can just buy them as a gift. So you don't know what to get someone for their birthday? Get them a pair of sheets. They're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Until they put them on their bed. And then they'll be like, oh, my God, these are awesome. It makes my bed so much more airy with these linen pieces. It gives your bedroom a nice, relaxed feel. We're providing you with the ultimate comfort they got 12 beautiful linen colors and patterns to choose from. Right now, uh, check it out. So, you know it's good. Brooklinen's newest linen collection is amazing. I couldn't recommend their pro products more. Uh, I love them. The people that have gotten them from this podcast, you guys know. This is a way to support the podcast, too. Uh, for graduates, newlyweds, friends, family, treat yourself to the bedroom upgrade you deserve. Okay? This is made my my room as a sanctuary now with these brooklinen.com and it's an amazing gift okay and it's a way to support the podcast go to brooklinen.com it's given an exclusive offer to my listeners 10% off right now and free shipping when you use promo code what dude at brooklinen.com brooklyn is so confident in their products and sheets comforters duvets towels they give a lifetime warranty. The only way to get 10% and free shipping is to use promo code WHATDUDE at brooklinen.com. That's brooklinen.com. Promo code WHATDUDE. Brooklinen. These are the best sheets ever. <clears throat> Make sure you go to uh, Creeps with Kids. Hang on now. Settle down, fuckface. <laughs> Creepswithkids.com. It's my show still, I think. Uh, Creepswithkids.com. Uh, right now, Boston, you have tickets under a hundred left. It's selling out. We'll probably it's selling out. So if you didn't get your tickets to Boston already, well, go online right now, creepswithkids.com, buy your tickets. Reading, Pennsylvania. Let's go. You live in Pennsylvania near Reading. Get your tickets now. It's the first show on the tour. Uh, we want that one to sell out. So make sure you go to creepswithkids.com. Uh, there you go. And side split isn't going to be there uh, in September. All right. So, anywho, Lewis, this is a thing we were talking about today. Sarah Silverman in blackface. Uh, they got her. Again? They, she got fired from a TV show. 
She got fired from a show because she did blackface. What was the blackface from? Do you know what? Oh, what? that was from the Sarah Silverman program. <clears throat> that was yeah. from a show that was on. How do you get fired from a show that went through standards and practices? I mean, there's, shit, every, there's a whole uh, a bunch of people that go, you can or can't say this. You can or can't do that. She did this show, and now she gets fired for something that Comedy Central was okay with. Yeah. Yeah, How what, is that? What was the uh, what's the movie she got fired from? So, uh, I don't think she released the what the title I'm sure was. I'm sure there's here's the thing. It was Black Panther 2. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. If you're from Wakanda or pretend to be from Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, she no. I mean, look. Think about how much she doesn't know what she lost. So think about how much you've done on podcasts where you have no idea. Oh, I, where, I've lost a lot. Yeah, I know. The fact that I'm camping with you and you're yeah. my friend still, which <laughs> I'm just lost it all. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was on TV three years ago. You can't feel it's bad for Sarah Silverman uh, because the reality is, everyone who says anything controversial slightly has lost plenty of things, and they don't even know what they lost. Their name comes up, and they go, "Yeah, we're not going to work with that person for whatever reason," and. It's still but, all in net positive. She still has everything she's gained. Okay, so it's fine. sort of like you can't Her even... Her career... Let me tell you something. Career. She has a lot of people now who just see that and fuck it. We hate her now. So now she has to deal with this. For something that she did years ago... Yeah. Did you break it again? No. I'd be furious. Oh, fuck. I'd be so happy if you broke it again. <clears throat> something that everybody... The world accepted years ago. Accepted it. They laughed at it. Nobody said shit. I don't. I think we should start from scratch. What was the scra- The sketch? It's a satire about racism. So right, you know that it. the person never let's see even it. watch it. They just can we watch it there. without getting banned? No. If we talk over it. All right, let's talk over it. Lewis has no problem yeah. doing that. Well, so you're not getting banned. They're just going to demonetize you. Who no, cares? she got, she got yeah, but I want to get monetized. The YouTube videos don't make. There's not enough money in the seven hundred dollars a month. Okay, it's not that. That's not that much. Um, <laughs> it's just not that much money. <laughs> well, tell Zach that. Tell Mike that. Oh, this is a compilation of Oh, it's a compilation face. of blackface? Yeah. Okay. So it's a compliment. Okay. But what? Oh, Jesus. That... Well, remember. Yeah, you can yeah, still but, buy that movie off. <laughs> yeah, you can still get that movie off, off of, uh, I mean, I don't understand it. It's all in the vein of comedy. And okay, we changed it culturally. Fine. But what the fuck? You're going to fire somebody off of a movie because she was doing something that was acceptable? I agree. And it's also like, I mean, look, the problem <coughs> with her is she... She's smoking hot? Mm, yeah, I'd smash. So <laughs> Smash, Hulk smash. <clears throat> no, but she sort of became... Whether it's for her own reasons or not, she started becoming very political left wing. And when you sort of take on that role you're going to be held up to Funny. the standard of being a hypocrite. And that's sort of what, what happened. So it's like, it's not even... Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares about Sarah Silverman and blackface at all. Nobody. But trolls on the internet it's will it. just post it just for the sake of it. Just, just to, to kick to up fuck dirt. With her. Just to when fuck. are these fucking... Nobody cares. Nobody is offended by it. Black Nobody. people aren't offended by it. Nobody. You will. You'd be hard pressed to find a single person who would go, "Oh my god." God. Racist. Uh, Chrissy calls racist on Sarah Silverman's blackface. Who's Chrissy? This is a host. It's got 119,000 views. Yeah, but she knows that if she posts some shit like that, it's the same thing as people writing shit on Twitter. It's just clickbait, horseshit. She doesn't really feel this way. If she, if you fucking care about Sarah Silverman in blackface, if you are that emotional, you've had a good fucking life. Fuck you. Suck a dick. You're privileged. You care? You fucking care that Sarah Silverman did a sketch in 2007? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. No, but they didn't care back then. Why? I don't understand why. The context of it was, it was like, Showing why it's wrong. Yeah, it, it's probably. I mean, I, I would imagine yeah. she's not just doing blackface the way they did it back in the yeah. day. I mean, she, she, gangs. Like, her character <laughs> is a functional retard on that show, right? And so she was going it's around functional doing functional special needs. We have said retard so many times already. I didn't. You said it. F- I five, said it. In Mike Abruzzi com- said it five times. <laughs> there, oh, better. No. There. Wow. They can catch me. Wow, they hate each other. Um, <laughs> retard. Is that what you're afraid of? That's the word, guys. Uh, uh, yeah. Listen, are you af- you're even afraid of this topic, aren't you? Well, no, I'm just thinking about how I have to call. I'm thinking that you're going to get Matt, like, call me out when I call the lift in a second because I have to be at a spot. So. No, you got to go at 930. Yeah, 920. Yeah, 920. 920, yeah, no, we know. Yeah. We're all we're all aware of it. Okay. Yeah, we're ending at 930. I today. always think I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I got to go do that TV show. No, you're not going to get in trouble. I'm going to have Lewis fucking hurl you. <laughs> Right under the roof of your lift. <laughs> Just dent the fucking I'm asshole's car. Yeah, Poppy. Listen, yeah. do you give a shit about this at all? 
I think that the sketch, I didn't see it, but I think the sketch itself was about racism. It wasn't like she was, yeah, I think the sketch was about ra- what, racism and anti-Semitism or something like that. When the fuck is somebody just going to tell them to go fuck themselves? I, I mean, they're is. taking themselves out. Yeah, I think she, this what is also, response? she didn't even say that it was. She's like, this is the problem with cancel culture is no one fucking watched the sketch yeah. and it's about. It's not even a sketch. It's an epi- It's a sitcom. Yeah. So people keep thinking it's a sketch. Like that's how, like no one's even saying what it actually was. Right. So it's just, it was just a story to the sitcom. Right. On about fucking believable. racism and anti-Semitism, right? Yeah. She's basically going around acting like I don't give like a shit what the point was. I don't care if it was, it was if she was going as hardcore and, and making fun of it and punching down. It doesn't fucking matter. It needs to be black and white. Comics need to be comics. Comics need to create. They need to fucking take chances. And this is that's the conversation. This is why whether it's a person who's considered liberal, right wing, whatever it is, I don't give a fuck about any of that so, shit. So so the people that that made the call on the movie fired her. And they didn't even look at the sketch. You think that someone didn't watch that just said fuck it, we got to fire her because a group of people are coming after us, and we don't want to look bad. I don't even know if a p- group of people came after them. I think that they, somebody was like, oh, shit, we don't feel comfortable with this, and then it became a thing behind the scenes. I don't know. I think, uh, how long ago did she get fired from this? this is, was it recent, or was it an old thing she's talking about? I'm not I sure, think. but she's the one who announced it. I know, exactly. Yeah, it's a weird thing. It. I just, it's not yeah. really even, it's kind of a non-story. Yeah. It's a yeah, non-story it, because she's lost plenty of other things that she, whether she knows about or doesn't know about, it's sort of what you gain. It's not in the a non story because lose. here's the fact that if, if 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 this keeps happening, if it keeps going further, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And you don't give a fuck, Lou, because you've chosen where you're at. But a lot of people like her, she's she's out there now. She has to worry about what she says because she's still trying to get a sitcom or a movie or trying to be out there. You're like, fuck it, dude. I'm I'm doing this. I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want, and everybody can go fuck themselves. You're not trying to go down NBC, but when you I were, was, but when you were, but, you, but when you were, you were worried about what the fuck was out there. No, 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 that's not Duh. true. Come oh, on. But Bobby, no, but you Bobby, have lots on, of on. businesses. But listen, Bobby, <laughs> you have so many businesses. <laughs> Bobby, you're not telling, you're, that's not what happened. No, I did last Comic Standing, and they said, if you have any videos specifically, take them off, because we're going to kick off the show. I'm, I'm, not on, saying you're not aware, I'm not saying you're not a, a fucking real ass dude. I'm saying that you did go dude. I get it. But that's not... No, when but you were trying sort of, to make it. it. That's But that's sort of disingenuous because I wasn't going, dude, you know what? We got to get rid of some of these things that I've said. No. I did a show and they said, hey, if you've done anything uh, that would be considered uh, racy, if you have any videos of you doing anything... Right. Then I started going, fuck, dude, I'm on this show right now. I don't want to get kicked off the show for it. Can you guys put that on private? That's exactly it's what not, I'm saying. No, it's not. That you, you're saying, like, I'm going, like, oh, dude, you know what I'm trying no, to get saying, down this path. No, I gotta I'm saying act that you can, way. I'm, No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not yeah. saying you're a fucking loser. Yeah, I don't give I'm a saying, shit. And then as soon as I got off the no, show, I a week t- later, I said, fuck it, put it back up. Who yeah, cares? But what I'm saying is I this. I think he's saying you're a naughty bad boy that doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> and Rachel, I'm a straight laced little sweetie pie that just wants to suck NBC off. Rachel, where you Collectively. at? Collectively. Where you at, Rachel? <laughs> punchline. You can see Rachel at the Punchline. <clears throat> I love that club. The one downtown, right? Yes. On Sa- yeah, Sa- yeah, yeah, it's a good club. This That's a gr- I love that club. I'm glad. You know, they, they kept it there. They were gonna they got, they were gonna get kicked out. Oh, really? Yeah, they were, they had new owners of the building, and they were like they raised the rent so uh, high they were like fucking goodbye. Okay, and the, the, the what? That was the San Francisco Punchline. Oh, which one are you at? Philadelphia. Philly, Philly, Philly oh, yeah, not as good. No, I'm <laughs> no it's good. It's I actually like the San Francisco punchline. <coughs> no, this one's one of my good too. Clubs in the country. It's a great punchline. It's right in that new. It's a whole new area over there. Fillmore, I believe, is over there, right? Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah like it's great. Philly crowds. They're good. Philly crowds. Are Speaking the best. of, yeah, you can say anything in Philly. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I say. Any, I love those fucking fans. Doctor Grin's Comedy Club, Grand Rapids Stress Factory Comedy Club, New Brunswick, JFK Center for Perform. What the fuck is that? Is uh, that a theater? Oh, no, no, Ooh. that that's the Kennedy Center in D.C. What are you doing? I honestly don't remember. Nice. <laughs> Go to it's Rachel's like website. My, my agent put that up. I don't nice. remember that. <laughs> but I'm good. doing something at the Kennedy Center with a couple of other comics. I don't remember who else is uh, on well, it. Listen, I love you. You're the best. Thanks for coming on tonight. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Right. I love you, boys. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Rach. Right, no, get out. <laughs> <laughs> get out. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah. Jerk off to that story. Take your shit and get out of here. <laughs> All right, hurry up. Don't make it long. Me and Lou's have shit to talk about. No. Go ahead. I just called an Uber, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <coughs> oh, geez, she just snapped, right? Too far. Too far, Rachel. Come on, Rachel. I didn't mean it. <laughs> what if NBC is listening? Yeah, what if NBC is listening? Oh, they took... I mean, think about all the people they, they took out that were left They've people. been trying to take out Sarah for a little bit, though. Who? Because remember, I don't know, like the co- collective thing. Are they called the collective? 
Because remember when she said that thing about Louie, how she was like, I let Louie jerk off in front of me. Yeah. And I was cool with it. And that went viral too. Yeah. Fucking so crazy. People are after her for some reason. But I hate that these fucking small group of people can just take people out. They don't it really, bothers they, me. They don't. But it's she's a, still here. Talking about yeah. it's fake. She's still here. She's fine. She's killing. Yeah, but that's going to that's going to affect her fucking getting something else because people, buddy, people don't understand it. The next people that are going to hire her, like you said, are going to go. You know what? Didn't she do that thing? She was in blackface. What? Did you watch it? No, it was a skit. I think they're not fucking. They're going to. Yeah, let's just I'll go. I'll bet on. you one year from now, Sarah Silverman's fine. Uh, how much? Thousand dollars. What? $1, I think $1. sooner. Who makes a thousand dollar bet? Luther has to wear blackface. I've worn blackface on Legion of Skanks. He has it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is just dirt from camping. <laughs> Did you shower? No. What? I didn't get to shower. I didn't have time. Wow, you're a fucking machine. No time, doggy. You're a machine. Well, I think I think it sucks, and I think, I think the it fact, sucks too. I think it sucks, and I don't think I, I I'm just waiting for us all to stand up against it. We are. Everyone's <coughs> doing our own shit. Podcasts I think I, I'm going to say this. There are guys I think you are. are fucking, yeah. I think you are. An, and I, I have to admire you because I see you on Twitter and you go after these people. I, 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 it, I'm like, it makes me feel spineless sometimes because I'm like, I'm like watching you attack these people that attack like Skankfest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you went right at them, fuck them. Yeah. And you, and you did the thing. And I think that's a point you got. Wasn't that a point you got to? Where you're like, ah, I'm done. I'm just this is what I'm doing, and I'm not taking this shit anymore. Well, it's I I I am uh, my own. And I hate enemy. to give you a compliment. I know you do. I'm just trying to be. I I don't see anybody that I respect in comedy doing that. That that pay attention to no. the fucking. And this is even other comedy. Like, I'm paying attention to these fucking open mic comics, and I shouldn't be. I should be above them. So where you wow. saying you sort of admire me going back at them? I admire you for being able to just sort of fucking ignore it and yeah, be I above don't talk it. To those people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I need deal to, with you I need those to fucking shit ignore rules. these fucking losers, and yeah. there needs to be a certain standard of people that I even that would even register, right? But those losers got to Brooklyn Bazaar, and they. They made them though. The Brooklyn Bazaar, if you know what happened there, Brooklyn Bazaar was for sale, okay? Okay. And they were trying to sell the venue. They had to drop it by a few million dollars. Yep. They were like, shit, dude, now we're going to get bad press. The right. Brooklyn Vegan wrote a thing, and they were like, right. they, the so person they on cared. social media. So they cared. But it wasn't people. But, but they cared. But because they didn't I'm need. I'm responding to what you're saying. Do you but, want but me to respond to what you're saying? I want you to respond, but, but I don't want you to respond to, do to this. what you're saying. <laughs> then respond. It wasn't like people got to them and they're like, shit, we got to react. No, this was more of a calculated move. And I think that. Because yes, of what they did, yeah, people and and the, this this cultural movement, yes, is changing sort of the infrastructure and the way people are doing things. But I have ten venues that have hit me up, being like, "Yeah, that's crazy. Fine. We would love for Louis C.K. to be at our venue." Because okay, fine. there's for every one venue that is woke, it's fine. There's fine. ten other venues fine. that aren't, and they doesn't live in the matter. real world. Fine, it doesn't matter. The fact that this one venue had okay, so they had these uh, underlying causes that helped the situation for these assholes. But the fact that these assholes have a voice. Where they can say, oh, somebody performed that that we don't like. And this venue is like, well, f all right, guys, we'll listen. You know, we're scared because we don't want to lose this money. We got to sell this place. And we don't want bad press from these people because that's what they do. And they made a choice against you, which put that place on the fucking map. I didn't yeah. know it existed. It was I the didn't biggest know event they've ever had there. $160,000 <coughs> yeah. in bar Ultimately, sales in a it's weekend. Always hurt them. It's always hurt them. Like James Gunn, he got taken off uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And he went to Suicide Squad. Now they forgive him. He's like, well, you got to wait for me to do Suicide Squad too now yeah. for me to do the next Guardians of the Galaxy. They well, fucked up. Now they got to wait on that movie. The, the other thing is that, um, whereas, like, yes, you're right, you know, Brooklyn Bazaar, and that's the negative side of it. And people go like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, that sucks. Hank Fest got to find a new home. What people don't understand is we go through the social media. Um, we, we hired a social media uh, uh, analysis person specifically to come through, take every bit of social media, every bit of press, analyze it, look at it, and then spit it out and give us fucking really cool figures and, and numbers to go to sponsors for next year. And what I will tell you is that Skankfest, because of the people that were against it, because what? of Brooklyn because? Bazaar, because, because. Because. because of all of these people, we got 10 times the social presence that we've ever had for Skankfest yes. before. That just is equating to dollars. Yeah. It doesn't matter. The but more, the, hold on. The more they freak out and get emotional and upset, I understand. the more of a back and forth violence becomes I understand, becomes but I also think, and I do think, you're, you're, not, you're uh, fucking with those people on, uh, on Twitter, not fucking with them, but going at them and going, I'm not taking your shit for the amount you did. I, st I still think that, that made people who maybe who, in the background who aren't going to say anything go, good for you, man. Oh, Fuck yeah. them. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. I think that was important in some dude, way. I, I, fucking, am I wrong? Of course, dude. I have people, and it's a weird thing because they just direct message you or they text you. But I mean, major, major players in the industry that are yeah. going, dude, thank you for standing well, up. When I was watching that, I was like, I was almost proud of you. I was like, good for you, dude. I almost. mean, <laughs> uh, uh, no, <laughs> no, I was proud. I was, I, uh, it was, I don't know if proud's the word because I'm not your father, but because yeah. he's dead. Yeah. But I think <laughs> um, I was like, good man. I like what you were doing. I was like, wow. And you weren't doing it. You were doing it. You were, of course, you were being funny. You were being f- outrageous. You being you, but you were. It was smart too. It wasn't like it wasn't just like a fuck you, you pussy. Well, yeah, because anybody a, can be smart on right. Twitter. Because I could edit my shit over and over again, and then you know, spend twenty minutes going like, all right, that yeah. that word, then yeah. like, edit that one out. Call your mother. Be like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't yeah. do that. Jesus. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. And you're right. I, I look, I, I get defensive, and I sort of feed into it sometimes. And right after Skankfest, I got emotional. That's something that I've created that anybody who's at Skankfest knows what a fucking beautiful, amazing thing it is. And the people, the, the fans and the comics, and everybody comes together, and it's legitimately a positive thing. There's no negativity. There's nothing there. There's no fights. There's it no arguments. It is surprisingly it's- fucking festival-like. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but in this... The fans, man, I don't, I don't know if people understand... The you know, and I know there's a there's a combination of fans. There's there's you know, Opie and Anthony fans. There's Stern fans. There's there's generations of this type of fan that is a skank fan. Yeah. And but they're so they're fans of everybody that the skanks invite. Yeah. Because they're so hooked into comedy that they know who people are. So when you go on stage, everybody's like, dude, this is. You walk in, they're like, Bobo, Bobby, dude. And it's like you feel great. And even the young guys who aren't as big, like they're like rock stars. When you guys walk around Skankfest, people recognize you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. It's like, oh, shit, this guy before my kid every day. Yeah. These are legitimate comedy fans, and we bring everyone together, and everyone has a party. Yeah. And look, when-, when There's no there's when, no cufflinks. No. There's, no. there's nobody there. The industry's not there to tell you what you can do. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Steve Jobs said it. Creativity- is the best thing in the world, but once money gets involved, creativity dies. Yeah, there's no industry there, or there's no bullshit there. Or if there is industry, they're hiding as fans and they're just right. hanging out. You know, yeah. nobody even knows. It's it's and a pure, it's the purest thing I've I've been a part of. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah, I because it. it really is a pure a pure event of comedy because it is nothing rather than let's entertain our fans. Let's get together. We're all fucking yeah. gonna party. We're all gonna have a good time. Young comics, fucking veteran headliners. Yes. Gaffigan was there. And when, Gaff- when Gaffigan, I asked him two years ago to do it, it was like, Gaffigan's a fucking bazillion. Yes. He doesn't need it. He's clean. It's not on brand for him. But I give him the pitch as to what it was. He was like, yeah, I'll be there. That's awesome. Next the- year, when you do this comedy stage, yeah. you need a monitor on the stage for the yeah. comics. All right, we'll get it. Whatever yeah. you want. Let me Wait, know. but I have a question. So, like, why do you think Clusterfest gets such good press as opposed to Skankfest? Do you think mm. it's because it's, like, so woke? Well, so no, how many, many, how many people behind press. us? They didn't get, hold on, they didn't get compressed. We did the analysis, and we analyzed Clusterfest um, just to, to compare. Yeah. Clusterfest, they paid for all their ads. It's all promoted. It's all right. like- Millions of dollars. We paid right. for nothing. We didn't this pay is for word any, of mouth. This is literally no, word I'm of asking. mouth. No, I'm We had as I'm much, telling you. We had as much social you. presence- really dramatic. Or, uh, we had about 80% of the social presence that Clusterfest had. Right. We're completely organic. It's a punk rock comedy festival with no major sort of marketing, no major push, not, not hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend on marketing. Yeah. Right. So it's a it's it's a different thing. The Louis thing was a major thing for us, not only because obviously it's Louis and he's a fucking legend and he's showing up at this comedy festival, yeah. right. but because of the outrage. People don't realize what outrage does. It sells and it sells on both sides. And you get people emotional. Um, we got so much press because Louis was there, and a lot of it was bad. But then the reaction, and then also it started becoming this thing where I feel proud of this, and I, I hope people recognize it. It's like this was the first time Louis came back. And it started becoming a very big debate. Is can Louis come back? It started becoming a very big like fucking like. Is it to, you know should he be able to come back? And it, and people started having more of an honest conversation. And people so even people that were a little more woke were going like, yeah, you know what, dude? Yeah, yeah. but this first of all, fuck your conversation. Should he come back or not? He's back. Yeah. yeah. Fuck off. You don't have a choice. Yeah. When it comes to stand up comedy, I'm sorry, you fucking assholes. It's not your choice. You don't get to make. You can do all the bullshit you want. You can take away the movies. You can take away the TV shows. You can take away the festivals. You can take away all the corporate shit you want. A stand-up comic needs a microphone and a fucking audience. And guess what? People want to see him. And audience, exactly. He's sold selling out. out massive places. Sold out. In sold minutes. out. He went uh, outside the country. Sold out. Inside he's got the a country. Tour sold out. Coming into. So it's you have 
That's why I love fucking being a stand up. Yeah. That's why I love it. I can make a living no matter what the fuck you say. Yep. They can go to the venues all they want. Guess what? Yeah. The, there are venues that just want to go, oh, yeah. And I watched it firsthand. Yeah. We had right. when we lost a venue, and we had the next day three different venues hit us up. One of them we're probably going to work with. They were like, dude, we love what you do. We are the biggest comedy fans in the world. Yeah. Oh, my God, we'd be honored if Louis C.K. would show up at one of our uh, events. Please, for the love of God, let's have this conversation. Right. So for every one venue that's doing that, there's 10 others. Yeah. And the reality is yeah. venues don't need to have... The, the one that the, the likes them is the KOA that we went to yesterday. We'll do it in the <laughs> We'll do it in the woods. <laughs> in I don't sure. It's uh, fucking Louis on top of a bouncy dude, house. How great would that be? <laughs> we could. Um, crazy. They have a big tent there. How crazy so, that would be? Skankfest in the woods. But, That'd be amazing. Oh, yeah. we just fucking AIDS and fucking herpes and <laughs> well, we're gonna mud. do that. In, you know, we're gonna do that in Texas. We're gonna do it in the fucking desert, baby boy. Skankfest South, March twentieth, twenty ninth. It's actually more of a swamp area, but it's a desert He's in my from mind. Texas. He's Mexican. You know nothing about Texas. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. I gotta go do a TV show. Speaking of co- corporate gigs, <laughs> fucking asshole, I am. Um. Yeah, Skankfest outside would be great. Well, that's why. Yeah. Well, that's Stop what it is. Skankfest. Me, scaring me. This is why we're doing it. Now. We talk have an outdoor like stage. To James. Skankfest South. We have an outdoor stage. Really? Um, which is going to be incredible. Under the sun, doing those. We're under the stars, doing those shows at night. Right. Um, but who's this is on why that? I got uh, no one's announced yet. Okay. But this is why I got so defensive. Big J. As man. as your. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I'm just. I'm throwing a guess. Big Dave J. Smith, maybe. Maybe Dave Smith. Possibly, if he cares. Yeah. <laughs> um. But. I get defensive because it was this beautiful thing and I could come off the heels of it and it's like there's comics that are like talking shit on it online and I'm like, guys, like we're all like the same. Like I would defend these fuckers to the death. I would right. defend their <laughs> right to tell their dumb horseshit woke jokes. If somebody was fucking yes. with one of these assholes yes. outside of a comedy club, yes. I would be the first person to fucking stand up and be like, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Because I I have this romantic thing with comics like we're all brothers and sisters and these fucking assholes come out and speak against a festival that is pure fucking positivity. Yeah, if you want to go talk about how white men stink and the man, go ahead. That's your jokes. Go do it. I'm not going to come and protest your shit. Whatever the fuck you want to talk about, you can talk about. As long as you have an audience, do your thing. But they want to take away free speech for other, they want it their way. They want everybody to laugh at what they think is funny, yeah. which is fucking. Which, by the way, these people have numbing. never murdered once in their life. They've never murdered. They've never killed. They've never gone into a fucking comedy club and actually laid down the hammer and made an audience fucking right. go like, "Holy shit, this was fucking amazing." And I think that that's sort of the standard of comedy now. And I think in twenty years, our kids aren't going to get murderers in stand-up comedy clubs. I, th- I think you're wrong. I, I think, think it's going to swing back. I, think I don't think so. I, I, no? think, I think it is because... I think we're getting more and more woke. No, because that means, more more is, that means Skank Fest isn't going to exist. But we'll be, and I think we'll Skank be Fest, in the woods. But I think Skank Fest is, <laughs> I, I, I is going to get bigger. I think, I think the swell of Skank Fest is the response to this bullshit. Yeah. You said it yourself, that Skank Fest got bigger because these people attacked it. Yeah. This small group attacked it. People are getting sick of garbage... Horse shit, corporate comedy. The generation's going to die out eventually. Though. Well, that well, that's com- really what it the is. bubble they call it the bubble bursts yeah. of this. This it's all money. All this shit is about making money, not offending people. Money having a commercials where they're not pulling money. All this shit is about money. So Andrew Dice Clay wasn't about money. Andrew Dice Clay just became Eddie Murphy said whatever the fuck he wanted. Which, by the way, he's really talking about coming back now. Yeah, but he comes back if he comes back as Ed, we talked about this last week. He's going to come back and he could change everything because if he comes back and just does his thing, we'll all get behind it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, well, it's Chappelle. When Chappelle comes out and he says, fuck it, I'm going to do a joke defending Louis, it's great. That's when it's great because it's like yeah. there's certain guys that are above it and yeah. more guys need to take Billy that Burr's chance. Billy Burr's new special, uh, stuff he's working on here. It's great. It is it's incredible. You, fucking, the, uh, that, you that abortion something. joke, can't say it. It's yeah. so fucking <laughs> good. It makes me furious. It's so good. He it's is, so good. Burr walks on stage and just, uh, and fuck you. And I, I, this is what I loved. I saw, I was watching at the Village Underground. He went on stage. Everybody's killing. Everybody's doing the thing. He walks on, does the joke, and there's a row of uh, women up front, Spanish women, immediately uptight. And you can see them, like, putting their head down, like, I'm not fucking, fuck this. And slowly they giggle. <laughs> slowly they put their head down and laugh. Slowly then they covered their mouths. And then all of a sudden, at the end of the joke, they're fucking crack. The whole room is cracking up. That's comedy. Right. That's mm-hmm. fucking comedy. That's what it's. I mean, that's great comedy. I'm not saying it's the only comedy. I'm not. I'm not going to say that. 
I think there's all kinds, but that to me, yeah, that's great comedy. That's, that's what a shit, guy yeah. fucking said. I'm gonna talk about this. It's fucked up. Here's my opinion on it. Fuck you. Deal with it. I'm right. not. I'm not asking for permission. That's why he Burr's. I can't wait to see his next special. I watched Patrice at the comic strip just walk people every set. He was the last guy. <laughs> Stand up New York, especially, dude, because Wayne Rader would let him do whatever. He'd do an hour at the end of the night, <laughs> right? That, yeah. uh, and he would fucking, he would do an hour. He would just go up and sit there and do whatever the fuck he wanted. And he would try to, oh. he would try to dig himself into a hole. Yeah. It was a fucking crazy thing. And then work out of the hole. And it guaranteed there'd be like five or six chicks in the crowd that were fucking livid that would get up and like leave. But the moment where he broke them was like the moment for like where he also broke the audience because those five people were so offended. The rest of the audience just would lose their mind. And I remember just as a well, young he would, comic. He just, wouldn't do it. He wouldn't. He wasn't trying to do it. He was doing it because he was so honest on stage. He would walk out and go, you're, you're not going to like me. Yeah. You're a fucking. <laughs> look at you fucking horse shit. Yeah. You blonde. You're going to fuck. You might. You should go. And if you started laughing, you'd be like, ah, maybe you're all right. Maybe you're all right, little little hoe. Yeah. Maybe like, huh? But if you weren't, you'd fucking leave. Good. Yep. Good. I got rid of you. He would just deal. He'd be like, look, I'm not going to come out here and just shuck and jive for you fucks. Right. And maybe, I don't care. I don't want you to like me. I just want the people that like me to like me. Yeah. That's why he was great. You're supposed to get people to be uncomfortable. That it's, I shouldn't say that. That's right. not, one type. One type of comedy. That's one type. But that's what I types. love. Yeah. That's I mean, look, what I, I fucking I love, love, dude. When people are uncomfortable, yeah. uh, you know, it was almost like, you know, I just grew up on like fucking. It's not even just dark comedy. It was like I grew up on a lot of urban comedy with like yeah. Def Jam, and it's like these talking about really dark shit, dude. Dark they were shit, just they man. they dealt with fucking yeah. violence and abuse and being poor and like. I just connected with that darker yeah. shit. And if there was a white person in the room, they'd be kind of uncomfortable because they didn't really have that same experience. That was great, dude. Yeah. But it was sort of pointed out. Like, that was, I always really, I loved that type of comedy, yeah. whatever that thing is. I mean, I look, I love joke. I love Lenny Marcus is murders, joke writer, pure fucking Gary Gumman fucking kills me. I watch Gary and I'm like, wow. Yeah. There's a lot of fucking Mulaney. There's a lot of joke writers. Bergazzi. I mean, Nate is fucking great. <clears throat> but you know, when it comes to saying, I like guys who say shit, and you're like, what? The, when you, you there's that energy in the room when somebody's talking about something you're not supposed to talk about, that you, I get giddy. Like, what the fuck is about to happen, man? It's almost like, almost like before a fight. You, you know, when there's a fight, oh, dude, dude, fight, 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 and you're like, mm -hmm. whoa, what's gonna happen? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then. And then they start, and you you see them just start working it. Like I saw Burr, I was watching him work. I was like, wow, fuck, man. And then right after that joke, he goes into another one, and you're like, come on, fuck you. And he pulls it out of the hat because he relies and he he knows he's funny. Well, it's it's, it. it's almost like you want to take a uh, like a controversial topic or subject or whatever it is, or just an opinion that's not the norm. I can, if, if it's just like yeah, the fucking weather's nice. Uh, that doesn't excite me. How can I possibly? But then I have an opinion on something where it's not where most people are going to either disagree or maybe it's set, it's 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 off of what everyone agrees with. And then to prove it comedically and to maybe get people that disagree with you to still laugh. This is what Patrice was a master at because you didn't agree with a lot of shit Patrice said about women and about fucking bitches. Like I I I was dated white chicks that I thought the world of. So it's like he's dating these <laughs> grimy funny. fucking whores that you you take away their bologna sandwich. That's the end of their month. Get the fuck out of here. All right, like. <laughs> It's true. A fucking, why is bologna poor people food? Why is that? Why is ham and bologna right next to each other? But you say bologna, I'm thinking really poor people. You say ham, I'm like, I'm oh, middle class. This man is grind up garbage. But dude, you say like, dollar, I'm fucking in. But Patrice was <laughs> a master in. of proving any point comedically. Yeah. I remember he was just wrong. I remember this one bitch he walked, <clears throat> he was like, Indian people know nothing about sexuality. And this bitch got him. She got him. She was like, she was like, we wrote the Kama Sutra. And I was like, oh shit, she got him. And I don't even remember what his response was, but he smashed her so bad. She was right. They wrote the Kama Sutra. Yeah. She's not wrong about this. But he fucking did. She cried. She left in tears. Fucking so mad. And the audience just cackling in her face. Fuck you, you ugly bitch. It was the best. Uh, I mean, that sounds fucking violent. And yeah, she probably killed herself. I mean, Jesus Christ. But no, I understand what you're saying. He, he had, um, I like, like when you worked with Patrice or even Burr, like I, he, he did my show over at the Pussycat. You have, it makes you a better, when you work with great comics, that's why people say, why are Boston comedians so great? Because we worked with the greatest. Right. And we're, you, when you work with great comics, it makes you push yourself. That's it. When, you, when Burr was on that set, 
I'm sitting there going, okay, cool. Uh, all right, cool. You, I'm, I'm going to go do this shit right now. Because he's watching. Right. And I'm watching him. It's like, it almost puts you guys in check with each other. Mm. When no one gives a fuck, that's when shit comedy. It's also, well, yeah, when you're dealing with a bunch of other people that all kind of suck and nobody's pushing each other, you want to fucking. But when you, you see, it's you not want, even pushing each other. It's when you see them. When you see Burr, when I saw Nert, Norton get better, I was like, fuck. Fuck. God damn it. He did something. When I saw when you see like a guy like Burr or Patrice, it's like, fuck, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fucking, I gotta reach deeper. I gotta let go more. I gotta fucking put a little more work into this fucking shit because these guys are doing something else. Yeah. You know? And it's pure, like, honesty, just this fucking conversation they had with themselves in their own head and they're having it on stage in front of people and these people are like fucking laughing like there's just, zero they, panderiness to what they do there's yeah. zero like it's just yeah they, like the colin said it when get, you can get off stage and be guilt free is when you're a com- com- real comic if you took away the audience track yeah you wouldn't be able to tell whether they're bombing or killing. This was our this matter. is our trip, by the way. Me and him just going back and forth with speeches. No, but it's <laughs> really, no, no, one of us listening. Yeah, yeah, no, we're no, trying to out speech no, each other. Right trying, now. I'm looking at me. I'm yeah, saying no. nothing. Yeah, because You're we don't. Like, talk- it's either him or him. Uh, all right, we're no, gonna wrap it up. Yeah. I gotta. All right, go ahead. So what are you gonna no. say? Go ahead, do it. Say it. It is, it is fucking interesting though yeah, because yeah, you guys mm. think shut the fuck up. You yeah, think that us young comics don't talk about it, but we do. Like we. That was my. That was my bloody underwear. But we talk about that shit that all the time. The period Hotter. <laughs> Hotter? <laughs> Good this though. is true. I mean, we talk about that show shit all the time. We analyze <coughs> comedy. We're not <coughs> pan- like trying to pander. When a, when a uh, venue says no and you get four yeses back, like there are comics like that too. There's one comic that says no and, there's no and there's four of us that are like, okay, we like that controversial shit. Do you know what I mean? No. No, not at all. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I really stopped paying attention in the middle of it. I started looking at her yeah. tattoos. She got nice arms. I don't even. I was. I, nice I actually arms. just saw a blur. Like her, I was looking at a blur. <laughs> I hope And there was a little too. mouth going blah 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 blah. <laughs> I hope you We're too young comics. We do it. There's four that like me, and I think we don't. I quit. I quit. <laughs> four out of five dentists do a great. No, I got my period. I hope your generation goes extinct. There we are. Um, assholes. I know it's so bad. No, okay, what were you saying? No, I'm done. Good. Uh, <laughs> all right, you guys, Lou, Lou. I had a great dude. I was telling. I forget what I was telling. Uh, I, my, I told a couple people what a great time we had, man. Yeah, I did. I did too, man. Yeah. James fucking loves you guys. It's so funny. James calls Bobby Bobby Kelly. I, know, I love every it. time. It's, it's funny. Amazing. Bobby Kelly. Bobby Kelly. Bobby <laughs> Kelly. We had, we had good meals. We cooked on the fire. Yeah, morning and, morning and night. It was great. Yeah. Breakfast. Wake up in the morning having steak, bacon, eggs in the morning. Pancakes. Pancakes. Well, I didn't have pancakes. I'm back on the diet. But good for you. Yeah. No, um, yeah. We. I mean, we cooked. These kids don't know. I'm fucking so happy that you know. I remember, like I was telling you, I remember walking down the street with James in my arms from the Galaxy Diner when we were about when Max was still in Don's belly. Yeah. And now the fact that we're going camping, hanging out with those two, it's just it's the best. It's great. I yeah. love it. It really makes me happy. It's one it's one of the things that is like it shows you, you know, people will preach about being parents and blah blah blah. It just kind of shows you I think the type of person you are when you have a kid yeah. and, you know, some people go one path, some people go another yeah. path. And I just, one of the things that I respect, mo- I've always respected you, and I've always looked up to you, yeah. but watching you as a great father and trying to do the right things, you know, yeah. opposite, you know, the stupid shit that our parents did, yeah. and trying to correct those mistakes and consciously trying to be better. I watch, yeah. I watch you literally fighting the urge to punch Max in his skull. <laughs> yeah. Ten times this a day. Week, it's an urge. Like I said to you this uh, week. Uh, we, not- we were beaten. That was beaten yeah. into us. It's fucked up. Literally. Yeah, it was literally that yeah. thing. Like, that's how we deal with shit is being yeah. just, and we have to fight that thing um, every day. And it's, it's amazing to watch you go the opposite way. And I think yeah. it says a lot about your character. You know, yeah. obviously everyone's, you know, we have our own shit, but it's that, yeah. that is, it's why I respect Bisping so much. Yeah. You know, it's why I don't like Jay anymore. <laughs> Um, it's fucking <laughs> 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 <No, I'm kidding. laughs> <laughs> 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 stinks. <laughs> uh, 
All right, buddy. Well, uh, I mean, what do you got? You got Gas Digital, of course. Of course. Check out the other pods, Legion yeah. of Skanks, Believe You Me, Real Ass Podcast, all on Gas Digital Network. I got a couple live gigs coming up uh, the 26th of August. I'll be Houston. I'm sorry, 25th of August. One night only. Houston, Texas. Uh, two shows. <laughs> I'll be at the, uh, Secret, the Secret Group. Fuck yeah. Thank you very much, my brother. Also, LA. Just a handful of tickets left. It'll probably be sold out before this comes out on iTunes. Yeah. But if you can get tickets to Legion of Skanks and Friends on the 19th at the Comedy Store, myself, yeah. Big J, Dave Smith, Burke Kreischer, Tim Dillon, Tony. Oh, Hinch shit. Cliff. Fucking killer show. Amazing. Killer fucking show. Insane show. Great. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just check it, check out the, the Twitter at Louis J. Gomez. I always post stuff and get the special. I, I have my own hour special that I independently released. Uh, you guys can purchase it at Louis J. Gomez yeah. Presents, Louis J. Gomez .com. Um, You can get it on, on whatever platform you guys want to get it on. There you go, man. Uh, Gab, what do you got? <laughs> Um, I have a podcast called Unabashed Podcast on iTunes and Spotify. I host a monthly show called Jiggy With It, first Wednesday of every the, every month. Now, what do you get besides fucking uh, the way station coughing in aids. Brooklyn? I have a, a, such a bad cough. Yeah, you gave it to me. I don't Just think admit I it. Did. I think you Boss did. gave it to no, both you. Of came us. in sick. I remember when you came in sick. Now that it's all coming back, it's Kaiser Sozaing. You coming back? You don't came say in sick, you don't know. and I got sick. Okay, and then you Voss, you gave it to Voss. There's no way. Mike, what do you got? <laughs> Not that cough. Sorry uh, about your grandma. Thank you. Grandma passed this weekend. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, really? You guys are so Who's connected. Your, grand Mike. your grandma? Uh, yeah. That's what I was going last week. I'm yeah. sorry, man. Do we I, I, we should have fucking gotten a GoFundMe for his grandma instead of the dog, you fucking idiot. <laughs> no, no, my grandma the like, fuck basically is wrong was, with you, was dude? done. He likes to do You got to put her down? What happened? Broke yeah, her leg? No, she said, decided to stop doing dialysis. She's oh. ready to go. Oh, Bubba. Mm. She's 92. So, she's oh, 92? Fine. She, well, she was. Yeah. Wow. So. Mexican? Yeah. 92? Yeah. Wow. I mean. um, I'm kidding. That's not even a stat. <laughs> um, all right, buddy. What do you got? Um, uh, you can hear me on uh, History Hangouts with Zach as well. Yeah. Um, yeah also, don't plug that show. It's no, on I'm right. Kidding. Yes, I'm right. kidding, dude. Know, I'm, we're trying to get them at Comic-Con. Oh, that'd be awesome. So yeah, be you'll great. be you'll be going to that, you guys, I think. And stop Chris from banging every butt in a costume there. So Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm jealous. What else? Um, what else besides that? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Mike V. Suarez. Yeah. Uh, follow Gabby at... Gabby is Brian. All right, what do you got there, Mike 2.0? Um, at Mike Abrusi on all social media, and I got a podcast with my best friend Diego called A Little Time, and you can listen to that whenever you You should have just called it My Best Friend Diego. <laughs> better name. Yeah, way better name than but fucking... Why does he get top billing? Be then? That's the funny thing, dummy. What's the name of the podcast? A Little Time. <laughs> Wow. I don't even know what the fuck that means. My best friend, Diego, I'm like, oh, two guys who like each other a lot. Yeah. And one guy with no ego. Chris, what do you got besides <laughs> fucking KKK hoodies? No, you work out in that. Yeah, I'm not working out with a, a white hood on. I, I just look like the leader. The I look like the leader of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could check me out at notthatchini.com. Uh, you know, I make Bobby's merch, and uh, yeah. I got a, I got a podcast actually at Skankfest. A guy from the UK came up to me. He recognized me from the cover art, and he was like, "Hey, I love your podcast." And I was like, "Holy shit, I have a fan. That's, That's awesome. crazy." Uh, but yeah, you could check out my work at louisjgomezisgay.com. Um, and then, uh, yeah, is it really? Yeah, it's I bought that during Skankfest because I have a domain bit. I was Can you go to that please right Tony, now? Tony, and Louis then I didn't J. Get Gomez, called, so I just own it now. Louis J. Gomez. Is gay dot com? Yeah. You own that? Yeah. Oh my god. It's There's not nothing. working. It's not working. Oh, oh there it is. Wow. wow. All right, bro. No, there you go. That's very Lewis right, of you. Yeah, yeah. That was mean, very Lewis. Now you're fucking out of anything I do. I'm taking over this fucking industry, but <laughs> <laughs> that's weird that you would fucking I mean I have a merch company, podcastmerch.com. You might have been the fucking guy that I went to. I, and I mean literally everything is fucking done now. <laughs> How do you feel about He's that? It's done. He's done. Where he said <laughs> he worth, it. worth it. That's pretty <laughs> fucking, Good. that's pretty real ass dude of him. We'll and of course, uh, what else do I got to plug, Mike? Remember to be happy. Speaking yeah, of shirt, app, there you go. Remember to be happy.com, YKWD stuff up there. Go get yourself a t shirt. Uh, Creepswithkids.com, it's happening. Tour Patreon. shirts are going to be available only at the venues. They will not be up on uh, any merch sites. You will have to get them at not the even podcast merch.com? Well, nope. Not during the tour. Maybe after. Um, no, not after. They'll be sold out. I know. Thank you, Mike. Positive thinking. Robert Kelly, Patreon. If, look, if you're a fan of the podcast, please go to support me over at uh, patreon.com. Billy Burr's episode will be coming out this Sunday. Sweet. Okay? This Sunday, Billy Burr's episode will be coming out live from the shed. Um, will be coming out this Sunday. I'm very excited about it. Very fun. I'm so glad Burr came up. 
First time up at my house, by the way. Uh, so that's all you Patreon people. If you're not a member, go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. I got a whole back uh, slew of, uh, of these um, uh, live from the sheds. You get the podcast first. You get the one-on-ones. There's so much stuff you get for free on that thing. But it's also mainly to support the show, live from the shed, help get that done, and uh, support me. So thanks for doing that. Yeah, check what out else? Whitney Cummings' titty. Out there, <laughs> <laughs> laughable.com, yeah, laughable.com, and there we go. That's all we got. Cellar Vegas, Cellar Vegas. I'll be there, uh, in September, second week, September, Cellar Vegas. Come see me. You got, I'm going to LA too, I think, a week after that. Uh, pitching a show out there in September, so uh, a lot of cool stuff. And I'm probably doing Burt Kreischer's thing, I think. Sweet, uh. Burcast? Burcast. Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, I gotta talk about I, I, We'll talk about it later. I've never been on Rogan. I want to get on Rogan, you too. You should do fucking Rogan. Yeah, all right. I, I, I don't have his number. I don't have anything. Do you have it? Yeah. All right. Call him. Tell him. Yeah, all right. I will. You're going to be on next week. Maybe. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. I love you, dude. Love you, dude. Have a great weekend. Dude. 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 See you later. <laughs> You've been listening to the YKWD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.